I see in your guys' kingdom chat. Let me look at what he sent me a screenshot. Da -da -da -da. Okay. You can do the presets on here, right? Talent. Okay, preset two. So this is what he's running, right? This is what he's running, chat. My Discord's kind of acting up a little bit on my PC, so I'm looking at it on my on my uh, Discord on my phone. Okay, perfect. He already he already switched it up because earlier he was running Boiling Blood before, and then he's running this now. Okay. Here. So we're doing two tests back to back. Of course, caged animal. But then he went, okay. Interesting. Guys, even I'm kind of learning about this preset stuff here. Preset one, preset two. I didn't like. I didn't really even know how to use it. All right, so here we go. We got two tests in. Make it happen again. Earth a conduit. Boom, boom. Boom. Now, I know some arguments have been made. Oh, people are just going to move. What program do you use to stream? Because my stream labs can't find in-game compute COD launcher. Oh, I use OBS. I use original OBS. Yeah, I use, I use some widgets and stuff from stream labs, but that's about it. Yeah, guys, it looks like this is going to consistently win. Nice, nice. I've been wanting confirmation to see, like, what... So for me, I don't like just putting out, it's not wrong, right? I, it's okay to pull out some, oh, this is the build that I recommend, or, or this is what I recommend. It's always good. Like, for the most part, you can, like, the build that we, that he has going on right now, uh, it's kind of aligning up to what we were predicting it to be, like getting rid of, a, uh, hey, <laughs> um, getting rid of a, the boiling blood because you know Tohar doesn't deal rage rage damage. It's all passive damage. It's crazy passive damage that delays you, but all in all, it's I mean it's doing what it's supposed to do. Oh, what's going on here, chat? We're looking a little we're looking a little even now. Nah, it's still winning. Nice, nice. Okay, so we're establishing what the better what the better build is. I think we're just going to keep it at that one. I don't think there's a need to. I don't think there's a need to move them around. I don't think there's a need to move them around. Now, someone in my stream the other day was mentioning, they were like, hey, freaking, um, people also need to keep in mind that Tohar starts proccing his rage skills. Or his passive way faster than anyone else. So if you're like in a poke situation, oh, he critted there. You guys saw that? His Earth of Condo and critted there. So if you're in a poke situation, if you're in a poke situation, um, you could start adding up some crazy merits over time because you're coming in, you're getting in your five hits, right? You could even time it properly, right? The tanks run in. Right, you come in, you hit the tanks for one or two turn, one or two turns, 
I don't know if it kind of if it kind of stacks and then goes the other way. We'll figure that out. But then you can hit the back line, and then you can hit the back line after that. You know what I mean? Look at this. Yeah, these are fucking very different reports, guys. Big okay, key points. Key points. I'll do the recording here with you guys live on stream. Six star makes a massive difference in heroes. We we've known this. We've known this, right? And then we gotta share the talent tree of Bertrand. Bert. Uh. Yeah, we gotta share the talent tree of of Bert. Like. Um, we can do the freaking uh. We can. We'll do one more. We'll do three in a row just so there just so we have like consistency, right? But look at this. This is pretty dope, guys. I'm not gonna lie. This is pretty dope. I mean at the end of the day I have like the main things going, right? But And you're always gonna have your people that are like <laughs> This and that is different and woo woo this that, you know, but like whatever, bro. I mean, that's a pretty good. It's it, it's not okay. Well, here's the other part. Here's the other star you put. Should you invest in this pair? Right, and I'm kind of just brainstorming with you guys before I start doing the before I record it and get this out there. Um, should you invest in it? Like, look at this, look at the difference, right? So, he took a little bit more sev wounds there this time compared to this time. I'm assuming there was probably some kind of like some kind of crit or whatever went in my favor, but for the most part. These numbers are looking pretty solid. Like, he's beating me by two, almost 8,000 sev wounds. Literally, like, the main thing that changed, guys, um, is the stars. It's straight up the stars. That's the, that's the crazy part. You know what I mean? It's mainly, it's mainly the whole, like, the whole star situation. And I was tr that's one of the things that I was trying to push and, and, and tell people, like, dude, the stars, the stars make a big difference, bro. The stars make a very big difference. Very big difference. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-
All right, here we go. Um, yeah, we're it's gonna be our third test here. We're writing down we're writing down a little bit of notes. Um, we'll probably switch them around. <laughs> probably switch them around a little bit. And then we're gonna we're we're gonna you guys are gonna see me transition from streamer to oh damn it looks like it's kind of losing. Let's see if it makes a comeback. You guys are gonna see me go from streamer to like making YouTube. It's like a different style, guys. I don't know. Like I prefer this. I prefer the streaming content. I prefer the streaming content. And I think I think the community, based off my YouTube's engagement, has shown that they also like the streaming kind of like laid back chilling more like interactive kind of talking streaming on youtube shit shit the thing is the thing is like the 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 cod co the call of dragons content creator team right they have a vision for twitch right they they want they want call of dragons to like grow on twitch a little bit so they also give me little like promotions and stuff that i can do giveaways for you guys like the last time it wasn't it wasn't a lot right but it was it was good though, and we appreciated it. And it like and for some people, it it could be a lot, right? It was two hundred gems, like a few days of speed ups, I think, when it added it up. Let me see. He PM'd it to me. Our boy Dumbledore PM'd it to me. So it's a total of almost a twenty four hour speed up, and a gold key. We'll take a gold key. Um. As far as streaming on YouTube, I think I'm going to start streaming on YouTube. Hey, Vio, what's good? What's good? As far as streaming on YouTube, I'm thinking about switching over and streaming on YouTube for maybe. I'm considering it, guys. I'm considering it. It's not a, it's not 100% yet. It's not 100% yet. And maybe maybe I switch maybe I switch Twitch over to just being my Call of Duty stuff again. I don't know. Still doing testing, bro? Bert Tohar is winning. Uh, never mind, I found you. Yep. Hey, did you get your in game rewards? Yeah, I already got them. Nice, yeah. Someone else messaged me and told me they got them. So there you guys have oh, it, juicy. guys. Three reports back to back with Bert Tohar winning by a substantial amount. The first one. They won by like 8k damn near. It, 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 so far they've been consistent. 7 to 8k. 7k there. 7k there. Yeah, so you guys saw like uh like sometimes with these crits, and like it could it could change the outcome of the fight, right? But it's consistent. Now I won't get the cow though. <laughs> you just started the fourth for the upcoming. Oh, you just start him the fourth for the upcoming zone two war. Oh, gotcha. You got Bertrand five three two one. Nice, bro. Nice. We got the we got the 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 little skill build right here. Um, I have it on my second preset. This is what we're this is what we're running. Yeah, he sent me a screenshot of it. And for sure, Spirit of Rage over Boiling Blood, because obviously Tohar doesn't do rage damage. And when Spirit Rage here, and uh. If you guys remember Zeus, he sent me a screenshot of what he thinks is gonna be like the better like the better one and he went up into the PvP tree. Um but if you look at it, right? If you look at it, I don't know, I think I think Toxic might win or Toxic build might be a little bit better on this one. Because if you look at it, Army of Valor, right, increases damage dealt by your legions while in battle one percent every ten seconds to a maximum of three percent. So meaning you have to be there for thirty seconds of not moving which is damn like i pff. sure there's been a good amount of times that i've been standing there for 30 seconds just blasting a freaking tank or something right but besides that like what's the other one luck of draw when your legion launches a counterattack, don't care about that so it kind of makes it like a no-brainer at least for me that you know we would go this way with magic maelstrom because it's you know a consistent um a debuff ignoring defense penetration or, or yeah, get, you gain defense penetration before casting rage skills, ignoring 10%. Now, 
I hope this works when Bert. Like, I mean, we'll look at the. Well, like I said, there's gonna be more tests to come when they're when they're fully maxed, right? At sixty, right? Um, there's gonna be more tests to come for sure. But I wonder if Magic Milson will work exactly when when Bertrand proxies Rage Skill, or will it be like bugged or some shit to where it tries proccing Ma Magic Milson when Tohard does it, or I mean, we know Tohar's skill is not proccing as a rage skill, right? Because when we look, when we go look at the at the battle log, you can just see the difference in in per turn. You can just see the difference per turn. We start taking fifteen hundred, fifteen hundred, fifteen hundred, two thousand. But bro, pass opens finally not at three a.m. for me, but seven p.m. Nice, bro. Yeah, this season's very na, very na friendly. Very NA friendly. I'm sure a lot of my uh, NA friends are going to be very happy with uh, with our findings here, chat. With our findings here. Look at that. The six stars. I, I have it on my notes right here. Um, I have it on my notes right here. Six star makes a massive difference. Share the talent tree for Bert. And then the other part is like, should you invest in this pair? Imagine living in EU. <laughs> Imagine. Great, how was work, bro? I didn't even go to work, bro. What? Where were you at, bro? Bro, I went to go eat, bro. Fuck you mean? Oh, no. Yeah. Told you I was going to go head out and eat. You ain't got to eat, bro. Bro, I gotta eat, bro. What the hell? <laughs> I gotta put gas in the tank, bro. All right, let's let's switch it up. Let's see. Uh, let's send out a. Let's send. Let's uh, tell him. Uh, I'll message him. He could send out a uh, Tohar primary. See how that goes. Your your heroes aren't. Fifty yet? Are they not right? Or or are they? Huh? Like Lily of Valen, Are they fifty yet? Lily of Valen, No. So we're missing also your ten percent defense penetration. I don't. I don't know how true that is, bro. I'll be honest. What the ten percent? Or I think once you have the fucking stars, you have them, bro. I mean. I don't Let's see. I don't. I don't. I mean, you should be able to read that in your report. In your battle report, tells you. What should it be under? It doesn't even show up here. Never mind. Wait, was my shit? Did you hear me? Now I hear, hear you me. now. Oh shit! No, it's yeah. I messaged the poor about it when we were talking about it the other day. It's, for some reason, it doesn't show, but it does stack. No, no we're not like, saying. He's saying like if he's saying like oh because my Lilia is not level fifty, so my six star doesn't get activated. But it doesn't work like that, bro. No, I think you're I mean, forty it? and everything. No. Like I bet if you deploy it and then look at Legion Boss, you could listen, see if it's there listen, or not. It's a promotion preview. Right, so you have to be level fifty to get a six star, but the, you don't have to be level fifty for it to be activated. Oh God, chat. Sure, bro. Oh, let me add that in the thing before I go into it. Before I go into YouTube mode. <clears throat> I swear you tripping for real. You're tripping. I'm tripping, but nah. My man thinks the it's... six star is not activated because they're not level fifty. Like what? That is crazy, bro. That's blasphemy. Blasphemy. Mm-hmm. But you wildin'. Yes, Has anyone know. tried the wild combination of Toha Bertrand? That's what we're, they're about to test out right now. Oh, are they? Let's get it. Uh, two seconds. I mean, it doesn't do better, bro. We we already know this from last time we tested it. Burt primary is it. 
Um, on top of that, this is not gonna go well because he has a fucking garrison tree. Oh God! On his Tohar. Uh, so I might not even run this. I don't even think it's worth it. Do it. Do it for the fun. We'll do it. Whatever. I don't. Run Valen. Not really. Nah. Anything. It sounded good on paper, but it wasn't. What, Bert Valen? Yeah. What if it wins now, though? Because they're, cause they're six-star. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, that's another thing, bro. Just, I guess we send it out and test it. Wait, hang on a minute. Have all these tests you've been doing... Because I, I watched the first two, and then I've just been... Uh, I've just been reading some news. Have all the tests you've been doing, like, this guns or not? Like, what? what do you mean, like this? Well, well you're hitting him. He's not hitting you. He, he you're attacking him. Me. No, he's no his his legion is retaliating. He's not. He's not targeting you. Otherwise, more friends have... regardless. It's but he's, he's launching here. rage skills and everything. I know mages that like and you no. Know, I know that there's a couple that do like kick back in. But does does it not do more damage if he actually uh, tells his march to hit you? No. I mean, if he doesn't have war frenzy on, then yeah, it would have. For but war frenzy, yeah. he should have war frenzy on. So, like I said, Chad, this one doesn't fucking matter because he has a garrison tree on it. Like, and it's still doing it's pretty. It's tree? still doing pretty fucking good. Yeah. Like, Tohar, yeah. <laughs> this fucking as he good. should, bro. Honestly, <laughs> as he should. Like, Tohar should never be primary, bro. Like, I mean, we've tested it. I've tested it numerous times, switching them between Tohar and Lilia, and, and nah. It's just not it, bro. It's just not it. You don't like you don't like Lilia Toha, no? She got stomped. Damn, that was my that was my uh, silent pick, bro. <laughs> I to bro. What did I tell you guys? Chat. It's still losing, bro. It's still losing to a Toha Garrison tree. <laughs> Sup, dude? That's I came mean, from the you may die, but that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Video, really nice videos, by the way. <laughs> Yo, what's good? Sumatra, welcome, welcome. Okay, should you five star Bertrand, Nico, Thea, or save for six star Lilia, main mage? Lilia, main mage, hundred percent. <laughs> if it's a main mage, you don't think six star and Lilia? <laughs> I mean, I guess it, it depends what season you're in. You know what I mean? No. Like if you're in season one, like you know, you would definitely because you have like three seasons. Or not, you have three seasons until you worry about Tohar. Bro, but if he's in season team. like T one already, season plus two plus he's plus. Where we're at. He's uh, where we're you mean T one? <laughs> I think it means T one. I think you can still get away with Lilia six star. Yeah, I, away, I would like, still think, done. especially if you already have her at five star. Yeah, especially if you already have her at five star. Finish her off, bro. Finish her off. Get that. Whoa. Get that six star. Hey, yo. <laughs> hey, yo. Oh, this hey, yo. Oh. Time, this so, yeah, you guys, you guys well, got some lily it. fetish? Yeah. Finish me <laughs> up, bro. He said it, bro. I didn't say anything. Some lily fetish? <laughs> he, you should have seen what was on the fan art. Bro, it's what? still one with a garrison tree. Barely, but it won, though. Bro, tell him to please tell him to put on the uh, the magic tree or something. I want to see it. He's, on uh, tour? No, it. bro. Bertrand's got to be primary yeah. for sure. That skill tree's crazy. The skill tree, bro. Let's just see. Bro, what, what if this is the bro? first time we see a full skill tree mage? No, nothing else. Nah, I mean, where the? F I mean, where would you go? Let, let's see. Let's see. Hold up. Let me, let me see what we're cooking. I mean, I might, you minus. might be on to something. You might actually be on to something, dude. You go steady hand, right? Because you got what? An extra what? 15? 5, 10, 15, 16, 17. So an extra 17, right? Gotta make the standard build. Alright, I'm gonna make a. I'm gonna make a third preset. I'm gonna make a third preset. Chat, if we were to go all in on the skill tree... Guys, it's possible we can't shut it down, right? Because look at look at our boy Hosk. Look at our boy Hosk. Off effect. Hosk mm. Look at our boy Hosk. This okay? If I were to go full skill, this is what how we would go. For Bert, right? But yeah. 
If I went full Bert. Dude, the Raging Tide is so crazy. Okay. Off the rip for sure. Steady hands. When gain a buff effect, which they gain a lot of buff effects, right? That's, what, that's the they first pick I did, bro. They gain a shit ton of buff effects. So we'll go ahead and five here. That's uh, increasing their hero skill damage though by 10% for five seconds, right? And then... What would, what would we have? We would have like another what, like fifteen? Uh -huh. Dude, I ah. we have another fifteen. Then we would go encouraging dance. Ah, I don't know. Should we go encouraging dance? Nah, I don't Being think you want to get hit by normal attacks. Well, then what would you go though? The battle your legion ignores four percent of the. End. That one's kind of like a small one though. Or we can go down here. To Egoism overall. sounds all right, just so you don't get blasted by AOE. Savagon, what's good? Any lights at the end of the new mage tunnel? Yes, bro. Yes, we're finally getting somewhere. Right now we're talking about like a we're now we're talking about a, a little prototype Bertrand. Right? Ah, dude, this kind of changes things. I mean, I think for the purposes of the video that I'm going to put out for YouTube, uh right now we have this preset right now because it's the one that's tested and it's out there. Um Main mage should take archer long range. Nico Kanara. I don't know, bro. I don't know about that. We're gonna. That's gonna be a whole video of its own. So here's. I think in an hour. No, sorry. A a day and fifteen hours. Um, we'll be able to unlock that uh, archer one, right? I don't know if that. Well, people will have the season talent skills to unlock it. I have a guy that I've been talking to that's saying that he's gonna go for it. That as soon as he unlocks it. Um, he's gonna let us know. But Savagon, look at this, bro. Okay, don't look at that one. That one's a fluke. Huh? <laughs> we have three. We have three of them. Bertrand Tohar, where it's doing better. Now, the the thing that we're talking about, it's like okay. Realistically speaking, right? A lot of the, when I release this video, a lot of people are gonna barely be going out to their past one, right? So what what would be, what would be the best build? Is what we're saying. And now the arguments being made is between preset two and preset three, right? Because when you go here to steady hands, right? I think it might be the move, dude. I don't know. Like uh, if you look at okay, magic maelstorm, right? We're missing out on magic maelstorm, right? You're also potentially missing out on intimidation, where your legion just deals more more dam more hero skill damage all the time. But if you have um, Tohar expertise, that steady hands. Uh, in my opinion, it's better. So intimidation is four percent all the time. Steady hands is hero skill damage, ten percent for five seconds. This effect can be triggered once every five seconds, bro. Yeah, dude. So that's we basically might... once every time Tor is trying to use his little first skill, because we... that fourth skill, uh, once that expertise skill wears off, he's gonna start trying to do that fourth skill again. We might be in an in the era of a new build for my Lilia, guys. Damn. I already have a video that says 2024 Lilia build, though. <laughs> I mean, I, I think you can still get away with Lilia Valen, like, with the standard build we already have. But the Bertrand Tor is definitely going to... Might have to be different. So, we're... Okay, so now we have... We did five there. Where would the other five go? You think egoism taking less hero skill damage? I don't know. Bro. But, I mean, just it's because of the Lily of Valen AOEs, in my opinion. Okay, so then it protects you from their AOEs. I mean, okay, if you think about this, right? Being hit with normal attack, 10%. That's only 10%, though. I don't know if I want to commit to that 10%. Uh, concentration... Okay, Magic Maelstorm. Da, 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 da. Defense penetration before cast. Ignoring 10% of the target's defense for 5 seconds. Yeah, but once every 30 seconds, bro. That is true, bro. It's the same thing like you were talking about that PvP tree where you gotta be melting some dude for 30 seconds. It'd be triggered every... Yeah. Compared to this other one, every five seconds for ten per yeah, brother. Wait a minute, dude. We might be on. We we just went down a whole fucking. 
Let's see, can you create a build in, in Rogue Commander roster where you can place all points if they're level 6? Yeah, I, did the Rogue thing come out? It's, can we even mess around with Rogue yet? I don't think... Not open. Oh yeah, you can. You can go to Heroes and start qualif slapping talents on there. Where? Just press your row button and like on the top right you see Battle Sync. You press that. My row button? Like you know where Dragon Trail's oh, at, yeah, bro? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Go down to battle where Roots of War is and then Battle Sync. You press Heroes. Oh, you can press shit. Talents. Oh, and you can do Manual. Savagon, big brain. Just oh. don't forget where your talent builds is. But if you're on Bertrand, you know, you can just mess around with it. Alright. But just press Manual, though. Alright. Let's do this. Let's see, yeah, it, yeah. Let's see how it would look. Let's see how it would look. Head held high. I wish that you can do more testing in the... Chat, supposedly they're working on a build where, um, or they're working on a mode where, it's sim I don't know if you guys played, um, Rise of Kingdoms, but they have this thing called Sunset Canyon, and essentially it's like, you set, like, your five marches, right, and then you kind of just leave them there, and then they're controlled by AI or whatever, and then people can fight them however way they want, and then you gain points be beating different, uh, power levels of people. And at the end of the week, I think there's weekly and daily rewards. You get points also. That one, that would be kind of cool to see. You already know it for sure. Anyone that has a Tohar, Go uh, um, a Skogo Goresh max for that, GG. Honestly, bro, it's over. <laughs> it's fucking over, dude. They hit you with the fucking uh, Turnborn Torque, bro. Sheesh. I mean, that just depends how the AI plays it, you know what I mean? No, I'm saying if you're controlling it. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we go steady hands. Okay, we're still left with 12. Where, 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 what are we thinking? What are we thinking? The late merges has passed one at... Oh, 12 to 13th. Yeah, ours is soon, bro. Ours is soon, and we're... And I'm not, I'm not working. I'm working the day after, right? Which, whatever. We'll lose a little bit of sleep to get the content out. You know what I mean? Um... Yep, well, we'll get that. Can you? Da, 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 da. Yep. Yeah, 1T5, 100 mil power actually runs literally a full skill tree. I don't remember the build though. I, I mean, it makes sense, bro. If you think about it, it kind of makes sense. Anyone versus Zeus is dead. <laughs> yeah, dude, actually. Sure. Actually, very accurate statement there. Um. Guys, what do you guys... Okay, hear me out, right? This might only work for a Thea build, but Noble Contract increases shields received by whatever, whatever percentage once you max it out. Obviously, it kind of go like, to waste, right? 2.5. I mean, it, yeah. It would kind of go to waste, but nah, not worth, not worth, not worth. Now, because if we go Magic, right? It, now, if we go Magic, 5 here five here and then two land in intimidation is a potential gray i keep having the reset Magic just HP, because I... foresight keep... and then the last two and then the last two land in intimidation i thought i think that might be the move over all these other ones because if you look at all these other ones being hit with a normal attack has 10 percent chance to grant your legion like we don't care about that do we really want to invest into something that's 10%? I don't think so. You know what I mean? Noble. I'm not mistaken, it goes up to like 50%. But honestly, with the Burst Train Tour, you don't want to be getting hit. So I mean, you don't want to be. You don't want to be getting hit, but you're going to be getting hit. Like, it's inevitable. I mean, by a normal attack. Yeah, you'll be getting hit. You'll get hit by a normal attack. So that's what I'm thinking. Maybe it's better to just go up the gut after that. Uh, once we get that uh, steady hands. We go magic HP, foresight, and then the last two land on intimidation. No more march speed. Yeah, see, that's what he, yeah, he's right. He's right on the march speed part. Could okay. Could go magic HP, then magic speed, and then intimidation. 
But why would you want a uh, foresight though? Why wouldn't you? In my opinion, it doesn't really sound as valuable. You're only getting 20, was it 75 rage? With a 25% chance. And you're only shooting your rage skill once. Okay, yeah, well, that's what he said. So then we go magic HP, right? Okay, are we agreeing that nothing in the skill tree right now is good to go? I actually don't see anything good in here. If there is something that maybe increased like normal attack, then probably There's so overall we're negate, health, but, like, increase nah. overall health, HP. What are we thinking, chat? What are we thinking? Savagon is right though. We for sure gotta get more speed on this fucking build. You kind of gotta go magic tree, I guess, to get the HP, speed, and then the last two on intimidation. <sighs> Yeah, dude, I think this Steady Hands edition, when gaining a buff effect, can sit... Guys, wait a minute, wait a minute. Especially Bertrand Thea, right? Because she gets hella buffs also. Damn. Her shield. Her shield gives you a guaranteed one. And right, Bertrand and doesn't really give you much. It's like you kind of have to be getting hit and then run away and then get hit, run away, so you can always keep spamming your buff effects. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Every other city... But compound interest, I guess, would technically proc once, right. but that's about it. This one's been requested, so... We'll go with... Uh... We'll tell him to go Bertrand Valen. We'll tell him to go Bert. Va we'll tell him to go Bert Valen because a lot of people are asking. Okay, how good is how good is Bert Valen? You know, a lot of people are asking that. Okay, it sounds so good on paper though. It does sound good on paper, right? And now and now he has his Bert six star, so we'll know exactly for sure how it's gonna do. Right, because one of the biggest things that people want to know is like, okay, sure, Bert. We know for sure Bert is an upgrade to the Flyers for Celestials, right? But, um. Like, how... Where else can we place Bert? You know what I mean? Like... So... Big Birdie Bert. <laughs> okay, so what do we think? Final Verdict? We'll go Magic, Speed, and then 2 on Intimidation. That's honestly what I think. Bro. Yeah, I think so. I, I just agree. don't see any other points to slap in the, in the Scotra yet. I don't he even needs, think there is. He needs that speed, too. Because mm -hmm. okay, at so least with the uh, Lilia Valen, Valen has a uh, fifteen percent or twenty percent march speed. It's gonna be a bit. It's gonna be a, a lot slower with that twenty percent missing. Oh, substantially, dude. Fifteen percent magic or uh fucking speed missing. Yeah, it's twenty percent. Um, that's gonna be hella noticeable. I'm gonna put my money on this one, chat. I'm gonna put my money on this build right here. So I already put a a check mark on the share talent tree for Bert. Um, I mean, we can ask Toxic to run it, see what, how it plays out. Toxic, then again, Toxic did say that he he is willing to switch it around. Toxic did say he is willing to switch it around for us. Um, but right now, oh yeah, okay, right now he has the Valen Bert out there. Wait, what did I tell him? I'll just. Skip. Bert Valen. I know, but I think I did. Did I do? Did I ask him for two hundred? Did we do two hundred? That I looks like two hundred. It definitely is a good amount. No, it's only one hundred. I gotta. I had to tell him like, "Hey, bro, I'm a little poor. We're gonna have to bring it down to one hundred k." That's crazy. <laughs> We're not all three hundred million power, bro. Like what? My dude's only down one million power, bro. That dude just died. This is boring. He's changed profile pick already. Yo, he had the little purple later, minions. Brother. And pick boiling blood? No, you wouldn't want that. Nah, definitely or, um, wouldn't want that. Can I ask why not? Yeah, so the reason why, if you look at boiling blood, it's when casting rage skills, your legion's deputy. Deals 8% more damage the next time they cast a rage skill. 
So you wouldn't want that because Toehard doesn't have a rage skill. That's why we went with this one. Obviously, if you don't have Tohar and you're looking to put in Bertrand with into your mage line, right? Then and you're dealing with another hero that has deputy or your deputy has rage skill, then yeah, for sure you would go boiling blood. But for this case with the Bert Tohar build, you won't go for that because Tohar doesn't have a rage skill. Thank you for testing. These new mage heroes are not easy to set up, especially with the vague skill descriptions. Yeah, yeah. They're not, they're definitely not the greatest. They're definitely not they're the greatest. They're goofy descriptions, bro. Goofy. Chat box. Chat box. Toxic just triple golded out of nowhere, holy. No shit? When, just now? Uh, I think it was a while ago. I just logged in oh. and saw that there was three goldies in here. Damn, they're raging hella fast. <laughs> Lily of Valen still looks like they're raging a little faster. Damn, this one's gonna be close. Holy shit. This is like watching a fucking UFC debut right here. You're kind of going back and forward. Look at that. Aren't you? You're yellow first, aren't you? I think barely, bro. Uh, barely. Let me. I need to see this fight. How much you got right now? I got 45. He's got 47. He, so he should beat you as long as you don't crit on him. Oh, we, uh, you know what? I'm curious. We need to we need to look at the compound interest situation because I just I just watched Mr. Sneaky's YouTube video. Which if you guys haven't watched Mr. Sneaky's video, guys, make sure you guys check it out. It's a good video. He kind of talks about. Um, he says that it's bugged, but I don't necessarily know if it's bugged. I just think that only Tohar can get Bert to that to the specific stacks. I think if you try to mix them around, it's not going to get them to the stacks that you want them to get them to. If I'm not mistaken, um, if you read the battle logs, it does tell you what triggers it, what what it is does. triggering yeah, it, and what yeah, doesn't. That's so what I, that's what I noticed. That's what I noticed on his video. I'm like, oh, that's interesting. Definitely have. Well, def definitely take a gander at that. Yeah, yeah this guys, report so, right here. You gotta send it. So it looks you like read the battle log. It looks like Bert. Yep. Look at that. Yeah, he barely beat you too. Bert Valen victorious. Fuck, did I feel like I gotta do a 200 one though to keep it consistent with the other ones for comparison? What do you think? I think so. Fuck, god damn it. <laughs> <laughs> what, bro, you looking broke on some Vestals? Nah, we're straight, we're straight, we're straight. Nah, we're straight. No, I have plenty of vessels. I just the only issue is might be is healing. I'm just trying to manage. I'm just trying to manage it good, you know. Okay, let's look at it. Let's look at it. Let's look at it. Nah, 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 nah. Let me share this with you. Let me share this with you. All right, Brett, go, go ahead. Where are you? Okay, I shared with you the the. Oh fuck! I shared with you the fluke one. No, don't look at that one. Oh my god! I mean, I guess it still would work because here, he could here, still here. read it. No, no, here's. Now look at that one. That's the Bert. That's the Bert Tohar, and this is the Bert Valen right here. Okay, which one are you looking at first, Bert Tohar? Um, the Bert Tohar that you told me to look okay, at. Okay, okay, okay. Are we just expanding all the turns? Yeah. Well, just after turn five. After turn five. Because so that's obviously five normal attacks, and that sixth one. He's gonna start being where Tohar starts launching shit. The Bertrand's compound interest was triggered. Changing here. What is the build on that Tohar? Is Sabagon? That one was a fluke, bro. That one's a fluke. He has a, he has a garrison set up on it, and Tohar still won. <laughs> yeah, he has a garrison set up on it. You know. And it's still one. Which one did you see that it procced uh, the compound interest? So at turn oh, okay. six, you can see where Tohar's Earth Conduit was triggered. And then Bertrand's at. Okay. 
prospect next turn, but I don't see it showing up here on the side. I see the compound interest in black. Yeah, Sav. Yeah. Uh-huh. Either way, either way, Sav, the skill tree is definitely going to do better than the than the magic. I I've tested that on my own like a lot actually with my with with the ability that I have cuz all I have is Tohar. You know, us four people have 5 4 5 5 Tohar. Well, this guy has them both awakened. No big deal. Um Okay, that was turn. What turn was that? That was turn six. What what other one did you see and what compound interest? So it turns six, seven, eight, and then nine, it looks like. At ten. Okay, so every time again. every time he hits with Earth of Conduit, it's adding the compound interest. Is that safe to say? I'm reading. I I don't see on the side where it's saying that he's getting this hero skill damage bonus. Yeah, look, you can see it. It, it, it. Every time Earth Conduit, boom, compound interest. Oh, I'm reading the wrong thing, bro. I was, I was reading the green thing, damage. but that's you. That's why. I, I'm trying to. I'm. Yeah, I gotta read the red ones because that's some. Twenty percent due to compound interest. Is that the max or is it thirty? It can only go up to thirty. Okay. So one of the main things that we're seeing, guys, it's mainly the Earth, the Conduit, or whatever, that's triggering the compound interest. Here, here we go again. Earth, the Conduit, compound interest. Almost back to back. That's what we were saying, guys. Like, yeah, as much as we want to put Bertrand with someone else, like, they don't, they won't trigger his skills the way Tohar does. You saw some... You awaken Tohar. You're at 5353 three, five, three at the moment. Hey, yo, left foot, good night. Ugh. Appreciate you stopping by, brother. I'm trying to see if it actually gets him. Oh, there it is. Hero skill damage was increased to 30% due to Bertrand's compound interest. What turn was that? Turn 9. Okay, that's good for my notes. I'm trying to read this, but it looks like these actually do not get wasted. Because after Bertrand's Rage skill comes off, he still has all these buffs. Oh, like it doesn't reset or like consume them. Or it's anything. not resetting it for some reason. You're just it gonna still run shows. Hard and see how they do in the field this season. Savagon, they're gonna do well, brother. Trust, trust. Now that we're like, but dude, the six star makes a difference, bro. Like massive difference. <laughs> like it's actually crazy. It's like I mean. I was talking with Gray, and, like, that's what I told him. I'm like, yeah, you know, like, everyone's pretty upset, but it's like, dude, they, were, they weren't they were six-star, though. I've done enough testing in this game that I've seen the difference between someone having four-star heroes and six-star heroes, right? If you just take the five-star alone, that gives them 10% more defense. And the other one the with the six-star would be a total of 10% more damage, so to speak, right? Bertrand is bugged. I don't know if he's bugged, bro. I don't know if he's bugged. Gray, what do you think? We're going to look at the Valen one right now. I don't think he's bugged, bro. I think that he's just straight up made for Tohar, and that's it. Because <laughs> if you look at it here, if you look at it here, we saw it. Um, Was it turn 9? Right here, turn 9. Look at this. Hero skill damage dealt was increased by 30% due to Bertrand. Compound interest effects, 4 seconds remaining. So for 4 seconds, right? So 9, so all the way up to 13. He'll probably still have compound interest. Oh, I think, but, it, uh, I think it, oh, Guys, I, look at turn 12. Look at turn 12. And then open all the logs. You can see Bertrand used, obviously, his rage skill. And then it shows you Bertrand's Legion hero skill damage damage um, dealt bonus effect was removed, and then compound interest was triggered again. Okay, dude, look, he's still so. Chat once he reaches the thirty percent, it's for four seconds, right? So nine, ten, eleven, twelve, right? So thirteen's not gonna have the thirty percent, right? Check well, then again. 
Tohar starts reactivating those because of his little... Um, so in two turns later, Tohars will start shooting again. Mr. Sneaky just did a video showing it. Bro, I, like I said, when I looked at Mr. Sneaky's video, there's a to me, there's a difference between bugged and... When, like, I don't even know where I'm going with this, but it's like, you can't really say it's bugged if it's actually working. You get what I'm saying? Now, the thing with Bertrand, the only one that can get him to, the only one that can get him to stack is Tohar because of his, because of his uh, passive skill. So I wouldn't, that's what I'm saying. I personally, right, wouldn't say that it's bugged if the heroes were meant to be together and if you use them any other way, they're not going to work. You get what I'm saying? Because they're not being, they're not being buffed enough. That's fucking, it, that's kind of crazy, bro. That each Earth of Conduit attack counts as freaking uh, a buff. You get what I'm saying? Mm. Like, how is that possible? It's a path. I don't get why they're saying it's bugged when we all, we knew this, like, the moment the heroes dropped. Because people are immediately asking, does Lilia Scorch work? Does all wins work? When CS said, those are technically damage over time effects and not hero skill damages so we already knew this wouldn't wouldn't work i don't know why they're saying it's bugged when we already knew this yeah chef that's what that's what i'm saying bro that's what i'm saying i think like i watched mr sneaky's video i even said it like right before i started talking about this i'm like you know shout out to mr sneaky because he's the one that kind of helped me understand the battle log thing better because he's like, if you look, you can see, like, beforehand what's triggering. You can see what he literally said. Like, you can see what's triggering compound interest. I'm like, all right, cool, dope. Next battle, like, I look at, I'm going to check that out. Um, Well, right now, I'm, we'll move together with uh, my boy Gray here. And we'll take a look at the Valen report and see what it goes up to. Um, okay, I'll try so to read that one. Wait, so at turn 12 is the last turn. Okay, at turn 9 is when he starts. Turn 12 is his last 30% skill. And it starts dropping. But I think it was like a turn 16 or something. Then it starts, it starts dropping. reactivating. You start noticing, I mean, you can tell in the normal attack damage, you see like minus 800 and then he just jumps to minus 2000 per turn. So you can kind of tell like, oh yeah, he's shooting his skill there. Turn 12. Um... <laughs> I guess I just don't see why the devs designed a hero to only work to its potential with one other hero. Bro, they've been I mean, Sindri on Fragar is kind of like that. Bro, they've been, like... So, when the conversation first came up of, oh, hey, like, these new heroes are coming out. Like, who are going to be the best pair? Like, a lot of people are like, oh, Lilia Tohar, wah, 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 this, that, right? But me, on the other hand, I'm just like, I'm more and less focused more on, like, patterns, right? And what is the pattern? The pattern with these creators of the devs is that they they make like um they make them together essentially like they make them complement each other every single pair that has come out has complemented each other and are made for each other sure can i mean we've seen this with the archers and i go on go on can you run them with other people sure is it the best but then when you run them together no you know what i mean Like I was saying earlier, we've seen these this happen with the Archer Commanders, where, where you know they're the best paired together. You know, Sindrion's double attack and then Fragar's seventy or sixty percent crit rate for normal attacks. Then you see the infantry. Everyone thought um, Gorus Maddie was going to go crazy, and then what happened? Nope, it was Gorus Skolkul again. Mm-hmm. Maddie Gar was just like your secondary infantry march. You said turn fifteen. No. Turn 15 um, and starts going it, up again? You scrolled past it. You gotta go back up. I have on my notes turn 12 was the last time they did a 30% skill. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, uh, Twitch is delayed for me. Never mind. Um, Just keep looking at your normal attack, like your green oh, HP bar. Oh, and then it goes down by 10% because it starts eating the stack, essentially. It starts, you know, wasting. Mm-hmm. And then turn 14 should be a 10%. Yep. And then turn 15, it should start going up again. Uh, 
15 should be like 0%, I yeah, think. Yeah, 15 is when it evens out. 16 is when it starts up again. What triggered it here? The blessings effect? Yeah, look. Lilia's blessing. Oh, wait a minute. Where the hell did Bertrand get 10% from? Bro, he got it from the Vestals. No. Did he not? Okay, turn 16. What under, did he do to... Under oh, so four interest. turns ago, that 10% was triggered. I'm guessing that's the his rage skill one. That's probably the last one that was alive. Are you looking at turn 16? Is that the turn you're on on stream right now? Status at, yeah, status at 16. Yeah, that's the one I'm looking at. Which one are you looking at? Because you at? see Bertrand's hero skill damage that was increased 10% due to Bertrand's compound interest effect remaining one second. So four turns ago, <clears throat> that effect was activated. And if I'm not mistaken, that was his rage skill. Bertrand's legions was increased to 35% due to Bertrand's plateau protection. Yeah, that's when um, Birch, not Bertrand, uh, I don't even know where that came from. Where did that one come from? Counterattack damage taken was decreased by 15% due to Bertrand's plateau protection. That one should be Tohars, but I don't know why it's under Bertrand's name. But yeah, that's... That in that increases because um, Tohar shooting his little his little bootleg infernal flame. He's already going up twenty. So turn eighteen, thirty percent. Has to be. Yeah. So what was that? So every nine turns. These are all good notes. So every nine turns, he gets the 30% skill. Then he starts fucking gradually going down, right? And damn, that's crazy. Okay, let's look at the Velen one now, yeah? Oh, actually, hold on. Yeah, hold yeah on. you're right. For yeah, nine turns, you would have 30% um, hero skill damage, and then it drops to um, 10%. Because of like, well, so that means every time he's bare, he's getting a bare minimum ten percent hero skill damage. Yeah, not bad. So your base, your base buff is twenty percent. No, uh, Tohar's thirty percent. So your base buff is forty percent. Then this the skill tree. That's actually nuts. It's actually a dub tonight for testing. Mage or, main's eating good tonight. Mage main's eating good tonight. We're gonna see, cause it's like, okay, it's winning the one v one, but we're also, yeah, he's having it activated, bro. What we have, we have, we both have war frenzy. Okay, he just, he just scouted me, so. This is, oh yeah, this is the Burt Valen. Because we're going to look at the compound interest, right? And like how it works or whatnot. Because, uh, so according to Mr. Sneaky, according to Mr. Sneaky, and according to some other people, I, okay, I think this is where he comes from, the bug part. And other people have told me that they asked CS, right? And they asked them if, if activating Thirst for Blood would activate the three com the compound interest fully. And I think CS said yes, right? And it turns out that that's not the case. So I think that's where they're coming from about it being bugged. Okay, so well, I Bert, guess I could see it being like that. Okay, so Bert Valen is winning by not too much, but they're winning nonetheless, right? They're winning nonetheless. I mean, I'm looking at the stream right now. This you were maybe seven turns in yellow while Toxic was still in the whites. I think that's a bit much. I think it was only like four or five.
Boom. Boom. Okay, the final test that I'm going to do, I'm going to ask Toxic if he's down to do it, to switch up the talent tree to the one that we were talking about. To add the skill damage. I'm reading that battle log you sent me with the, um, Bert Valen. Yeah, hold on, I'm doing, we're doing another one right now. I mean, I guess it doesn't make a difference, but... Um, I was, I'm just mainly looking at the, um, the Valen Snowbind to see if that would trigger it. And, well, it did not. It only triggered... Just for your standard one. That's the thing, bro. That's the, that's why Bert Tohar is the fucking the 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 move, obviously, because they're at the conduit. It's just each one buffs them. Like each little attack buffs them. We were thinking, what every every time he uh, it's it's counting as hero skill damage, but it's a passive skill. You know what I mean? Like it's weird. All right, let's look at this report. I'll share it with you. Because I, I'm looking at this, and they do. After Valen shoots his little his rage skill, it does go up to thirty percent. But he kind of kicked it. He kind of kicked my ass. Still, Bert Valen. It it does go up to thirty percent, but by the time you get a rage cycle again, it, it doesn't exist anymore. Okay, what's the max that he gets? What's what what's the max boost that he gets? Uh let's see. So when Bertrand shoots his it's at plus sixteen percent. Then it goes up to plus twenty six percent. Then when Valen shoots his, it's at twenty six percent. Then it goes up to thirty seven. But it then wears off by the time you shoot your rage skill again because it goes back down to your sixteen percent. It's not hitting enough. It's just not fast enough, yeah. So it's if anything, you stays... probably want Burt secondary if you want the most damage out of it. So it literally stays in the first... Um... It never goes past the first stack. Well, it, yeah, it doesn't go past it. That is crazy. Bro, that is a nerf. And it's still one. There, finally, I see compound interest. What turn was this? Turn 9 again. It's a plus 25%. Then it never happens again because... Okay, here, skill damage has increased to 10% for compound interest effects ruin in 4 seconds. That's because of... What triggered that? The previous one? Look at the last turn, um, because it, it says spirit? four seconds remaining, so you gotta spirit? go back up. Was it Spirit of Rage? No, that's a standard skill. Scroll up a little bit more. And then that's the Rage skill. Yeah, that's the Rage skill. You see that? No, oh, so the Rage skill triggered it. Yeah, remember, to uh, not Tor, Bird Train uses all of it, and then gains, gains one more. So it's technically only dropping down to all the stacks, just to one. So, he trades neutral if you just have no one. That's crazy. I mean, it still did better. Like, Birch and Valen just still did better. However, your secondary does get the boost, though. So, anything, Ooh. you probably want Birch and secondary if you're running, like, a Lilia primary. Why Why do you say that? So, Birch can get the additional 10% from the primary rage skill. Oh, shit. Yeah, I think I see what you mean. Do we run it again? I think that's huge, though. I, I mean, mean it, I, at this point, I you don't gotta, see... You gotta put a Lilia Bertrand. At this point, I don't you know see I mean? why the fuck anyone would run Bert outside of Tohar, right? Then again, some people are only making the Bert investment, so I guess this is pretty crucial to find out. Better run into the, pay, the free to play. Oh, we're Union. Never mind. I'll run it again. I'll run it again, and I'll just switch Valen and Bert. I'm a, I'll let him know on Discord.
got the DMs by this dude saying, hey, yo, can you do this real quick? <laughs> Honestly, I mean, everyone I've been seeing in the COD Discord is saying they're, they're skipping to hard. They're going for Birch right now, at least. So I'm guessing everyone's going to be wanting to get... Want to see what the Burt builds are. Want to see who they pair them with. True, They're true, hoping true, that true, this investment's true, true. worth it. But what I'm saying is, like, my video, like, it reached a good amount of people, right? And a lot of the content creators saw my video also, and they've done their testing also. But the thing is, the six star made that big of a fucking difference between the heroes, bro. I mean, we saw the testing right now. Like, sure, uh, Burt is, like, what, three, three little skills ahead? But when I looked at, oh, what are the uh, three little skills that he has that are ahead? Uh, what is what what advantage does he have over me? And that's, I think, at March speed. One, no, one one thing in the HP. So literally half of HP, and then one into magic speed. It difference. So it's like, okay, yeah, I get some people are gonna try to say that, right? Because everyone fucking dislikes the friendly cow, but. <laughs> Bro, half that little bit of percent of HP is not gonna cost you two to three thousand. Not even two to three thousand. Like five oh, thousand sub difference. It's been seven to eight thousand sub difference. It's not yeah. gonna cost you that much, bro. It was that much. A ten percent HP rune would have gone crazy in big wars. You would have been seeing crazy trades. No. Yeah. I th uh, that six stars is basically what's making it. That ten percent defense penetration basically evened out the field. It's actually fucking absurd, bro. Like actually, I might have to start six starring, but I don't know. I mean, I think so. I did. I think I did the not like official fucking math. I guess you can say, but um, I checked it out. I'm like, how long does it take to? get a, a hero of six star and if you buy the dailies every day you can get one hero six star but how long we're we talking about dailies every day every day for like the for year the season for the season okay i was about to say the year is like holy bro nah, bro for the season for the season yeah left foot you're gonna get number one merits you said okay Gonna get like number one. Sheesh. Sheesh. Okay, big dog. Fifty million minimum. If I don't see fifty million, I'm gonna be disappointed. All right, let's do this. In the DMs, bro. What the hell? You DM me? No, oh, bro. You're you're, <laughs> you're looking at the the pay to win leadership chat. Oh, there, nothing crazy in there. Interesting. He's so running... annoying. He's running, he's, uh, he's running, uh, half control, half PvP on this Valen right here. Definitely weird, bro. Normally, wouldn't you want to go full on one tree and then work your way to the second one? Normally, but he's fucking winning. <laughs> Still winning. Bertrand is just that guy, bro. I guess that 10%'s really doing something. I don't know. Did I see the Hulkson video on Tohar? I don't know if I have, bro. Oak Skin Gaming featured on the official College Dragons YouTube channel now, apparently. I'm apparently. Um, I say apparently because apparently people are saying they didn't yeah. even hear him. I didn't watch it because it was official video, so I didn't watch it. Yeah, nice. Probably, probably should. Watch. You said he's being featured on their actual on their 
call on the on the actual culture. Call of Dragons YouTube channel. Apparently, he was he was talking about Tohar on there or what? Uh, it was a season T one Rage of Dragons explained featured. Oh, gotcha. I'm I'm watching it right now to see what happens. <clears throat> yeah, bro. Keep it into consideration the fact that Bertrand's fourth skill of 30% war buffs is not being activated because they're taking normal attack. That's crazy, bro. I oh, yeah, think that 30% that's is going to go crazy. That shit is going to nuke people, bro. I mean, and you know how I play. I'm ratty as fuck, dude. I'm hella ratty. I play like I'm T3 out there. Yo. Oh, you brought people to play like that. Uh, what saying? Yo, oh, yo. he didn't I'm... like Tohar at all. Go ahead, Saint. Have you tried? Have you tried um one v one in like cabs or a tank with the, like the them just sitting there, like maybe a tank just sitting there? Yes. Yeah, but granted, guns didn't have. I was like, about to say, have you, had Tohar. have you? I was say, have you had Toxic do it to your march? Your T five. Watch my PVE ability drop. No, sir. What? <laughs> Not to you, Gray. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm perfectly fine with my oh, my little shit. infantry. My March won that you one. Know? Oh snap! You should yeah. try. That. I, I mean, I'd be interested to see that guns. If you if toxic like hit like with his awakened shit, hit your March. For what? Like, what are you trying to find out? Because I might already just, know just your answer. Thanking that. Well, just to, to like how you mentioned there, because I was looking I was looking at some skills, right? Um, just in general, but uh. When um when Grade mentioned that uh, you know you're obviously getting hit back, where in the field the idea is not to be hit, right? So it'd just be interesting, you know, with the full scale procking. Oh, oh, okay. Just I to see roll what you damage, just yeah, to yeah, get yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I like that. I like that. Grade just made me think of that. Yeah. So yeah, because counter attack damage shouldn't count as the normal. That well, that'll be that'll be more proof if it's bugged or not. Because based on what they're saying, no, because it's counter attack, not normal attack, right? But, uh, I mean, there'll be a way to find out for sure. I mean, yeah. The I mean, I've already hit Darklings, bro. Like, people have hit Darklings, we've read reports. That's actually a good, that's a good, like, what's, like, what's the damage difference? That's a good one, Saint. Thanks. Uh, I'll give that one to Grey Balls. Uh, we taking notes today. Of, I have a lot of things on my notes right now. I have, because I'm taking notes for what I'm going to say on my video. Six, like I'm, I'm gonna talk about how the six stars made a difference. The talent tree. Oh, that's another one we still gotta test before we finish this out. You do uh, that. The talent Bertrand tree. Bertrand Tar with that new the experimental the, tree. Yeah, yeah. Should you invest in this pair? Is a it's a big one. Does, uh, oh, does six star activate if you're not fit level fifty? That's gonna be for the comment section. Uh, I just checked, but it does. So we we um, you win this one. Sweet. Okay. Oh, oh, this is a big one. That turn nine. So every nine turns, you get the thirty percent skill with the Bert Tohar. Whereas, suppose if you run Bert with anyone else, he doesn't. He gets what with one stack. I mean, I guess we only test it on Valen, right? I mean, Lilia doesn't stack either. We already know this one because I tried it already, so it doesn't really work. Do you I say think, I tried it, but it's more an, like I've seen other streamers try it out. Do you think an artifact would proc it? No, because it says hero skill damage. That counts as artifact damage. <clears throat> wah, wah, wah. <laughs> womp, womp. You know what I mean? Oh, you know if you don't, you don't. Okay, what am I telling him to send out? Uh, well, he no, he wants his like his full build wherever he's been running. So Bertrand Toha, but you need to send out either, probably both for, for two separate, but like tanks first and foremost, because we because that's what we initially said, right? Like these are gonna be some like tank melters, like getting the tanks down quicker, <clears throat> uh, and then maybe try cabs or something afterwards. Even archers, but but nah, no, you can't really do archers because uh, they can't do archers one, yet. The one v one, they'll turn around, won't they? Um, I mean, not really. If you're far away from them, they won't. They'll just do their normal attack, or not normal attack, their counter attack damage back to you. Well, they I mean, won't be is, able to shoot rage skills and full is, attack. This is just testing raw fucking damage. 
You know what I mean? It's not yeah. really. We're, we're testing the DPS here. Yeah, just hit tanks then. Tanks is probably best. Like, send yeah, out yeah. His, tell him to send out his best tank march. Bro, why you send your tanks back? Because I only had 100k and I told him 200k. Uh, you sending 200? Yeah. Honestly, 200 would be a good test, but then, bro, you should even, like, send an even big, like, 250 if you can fit, fill that. That'd be interesting just to see, like, it. Bro, you trying to have this guy like, not size, have any tanks? Size, size doesn't matter, okay? <laughs> All right. Whoa, 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 whoa! I've been meeting the wrong if people. If this, there. if That's that statement was true, bro, we would have been up. <laughs> yeah, we'd have been up, up. <laughs> you would have been munching. <laughs> well, no, I mean, I'm just saying for the purposes of testing, 100 or 200. I'm just doing 200 to keep it consistent through all the reports, but it really and just keep it matter. 200. Just to keep it consistent, bro. Just send it 200. God damn it! My game's gonna crash again. Anytime right. you send fucking um. Oh no, that's good. Sometimes Wait, you, send you send 100k send... again. I know, I know. <laughs> yeah, Sabagon, wow, someone cleaned his desktop. Oh, did I miss that? Did I just... Yeah! <laughs> I yeah, Sabagon, because, yeah, because you, yeah, you over there fucking calling me out on my desktop, you asshole. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> He's like, you he put a little fucking question mark. Dude, that's fucking hilarious, man. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was funny though, Sav. That shit was funny. I needed, I needed to clean that shit up, anyways, bro. I needed to clean it up, anyways. So I'm about to hit your little Gorish over here, bro, with my one troop. Hey, bro, relax, bro. <laughs> Don't fuck up our tests. You good, bro? I'm still trading negative, anyway. The call out, the call outs help. <laughs> Lol. Lol, 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 lol. Again, this will show what we were like, like I said, when we were in that VC that time, because we were initially thinking, like, obviously sat there, this hit, and other marches weren't we anyway? Like, not, it doesn't want to be the center of, uh, of attack. Damn, bro, his normal chat, you were countering him were 266 a turn when Tohar started activating, bro, it dropped down to 200. It's um, it's consistent, and um, I would be I interested guess. again if I think th back to back this, and then him do his Lilia would just be interesting, just because obviously the numbers do seem similar, just normal, because obviously these tanks are just literally they're so tanky. Even though mages counter them, they're still so tanky. So I'd just be interested in the the skill. It's it's gonna come down to the skill damage, obviously. It's because their magic defense is high, but it makes no sense. Who's magic defense high? The infantry. <laughs> Oh no shit, but <laughs> that's funny. Not only is their their magic defense high, but their HP is also pretty up there. Is is I I am checked. Is there is their magic defense higher than their um? No no no. Normal? It's not. Nah. It's cool. Okay. I suppose that they kind of have to be right because I think their the magic defense. If we're people. talking about base stats, their magic defense at one hundred eighty seven, and their physical is two thirty four. So yeah. It's, it's yeah. not that. But if like T fives, the magic defense of theirs is one twenty and the physical's one seventy. However, the HP is also a huge thing. Holy shit, look at the size of fucking Gunza's mug. What the hell? <laughs> God damn. You know what it says? <laughs> Number one dad. I know what it says. Got it for Father's Day. <laughs> No, I, was, I wasn't like, sure. Yeah. I wasn't sure if you bro, okay. see what it said. <laughs> what, bro? I said, did Gray get you that? And then he went, bro. <laughs> yeah, Gray, appreciate my mug, son. <laughs> yeah, no problem. <laughs> Just casually sending oh, it through. Oh, that was an 8K. You see that one? That was an 8K. There. Yeah, 8,000, bro. And then it just drops to 700. What was an 8K? Uh, you didn't see it. it, it you know, look at this. It's at forty six hundred, and that last crate saying was eight thousand eight hundred. Bro, oh, for a bird skill. Yeah, that's uh, actually yeah, nuts. Yeah. yeah, but he probably hit that ninth, the the ninth, the ninth uh, turn. He sat there. Right? Look at the counter. He's still taking it. That's still a fair bit. Look at his yellow. Uh, look at his health bar. Like he's still taking a fair bit just from hitting a tank, bro.
these these this Goresh skill goal is going to hang around for even the next set of tanks. I think this 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 march is going to be around for a while. We're going to see for AOE tanks, bro. Time, bro. Um, we're going to see a range of tanks, probably. Shut the fuck up. You say this, but like you know range what's happening. Range tanks. Oh, we're okay. going to see like flying tanks or something, something goofy. Some pretty brawl. It's a pretty brawlic report. 28k, I mean. I mean, let's look at the I battle say only log. Let's look at the K. battle log. What is that skill called? No. Uh, it's called uh, Blue Blood. When in the field, Birchin's Legion gains 5% attack. I mean, in the um, battle log, I should show you it. That's what I'm saying. Technically, it would take less counterattack and, you know, deal more back. But you gotta look at, like, turn 4, I think. Because it is saying normal attack after 3 seconds. We're looking for blue blood, chat. Every, every bottom, if anything. Every four seconds? That, it says every after three seconds I'm not taking normal attack. It'll be in red. I don't see it. Y'all looking kind of sussy. I ain't going to lie. I don't see it. Uh -oh. Hmm. Oh, oh, no. Uh -oh. I don't see it. I don't see it. Let's Wait, scroll should up, scroll it go? Up, Scroll up a bit. Scroll up one, sorry, guns. Whoa, Just scroll whoa, up, go one. Whoa. No, no, it's in like go, go up two reports now. I think where you're at now. One of them said Bertrand. Look, like, where's this here? Bertrand's. Uh... Here, I shared it. But I that's, shared from it. I that's from Tor. That's from Tor. I shared it in the alliance chat, bro. You can look. Alliance chat, bro. We're not in your alliance. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> we're not in your alliance, bro. One sec, one sec, guns. One sec. It's either the fourth or the fifth one. It said Bertrand reduced counterattack taken. I'm gonna tell Toxic and send his report into the, into not, the Alliance it's, chat. It's not about the... It's not about that. Right? We're looking for blue blood, bro. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, bro. We're gonna help you out. Look for it. Yeah, well, I was but wondering, I don't see it, it on there. That's what I mean. Even though it doesn't list it, again, potentially a visual bug or whatever, even though it doesn't list it, I wondered if that where it said Bertrand is reducing the counterattack damage taken, is that uh, is that it kicking in? No, that, that, that's Torhar skill. It's just a miss. Oh, it's yeah. a miss. Um, yeah. miss sound typed basically. Dude, their things are all over the place, though, aren't they? Then, because that, yeah, because like I said, that should be a uh, under Toha. It's his, weird uh, because yeah. this this is the only pair that says that Bertrand's getting buffed. But if you look at the Lilia Valence, it says Valence buffing Lilia. It's I, I don't know why. All right, I just told him to put it in there. Yeah, I'm lo logging in now. Let's have a look. Uh, Toxic, yeah. share this out. Let's see. Does it show you're on the side? I mean, it, sh it's a it should say blue blood somewhere. Wait. See? Hold okay. Up. Right I, I think it's because... Oh, While I'm in confused. the field, Bertrand's Legion gains... Blah, blah, blah. If they have not taken normal attack damage for three seconds, okay, but I mean they were just taking counter attack, right? Which they take counter attack from every fucking unit. Well, this is the thing I was about to say. Otherwise, it's impossible to ever. Um... Hey, look at the right side. Um, you see where it says Legion attack fifteen percent, Legion defense fifteen percent. Is that it? Yeah, that's it right there. It shows for the, for the very first turn. But it doesn't tell you it's he's getting buffed. It just immediately gives you it. That seems odd because it was hmm. Where? You see on the right side of the battle log? Yeah. <clears throat> where it tells you like all the little hero right here, the troop buffs. Uh, Legion it's attack like and Legion defense. Guns. Yeah, it's saying that right there. This oh, is the plus stat on this battle log, it doesn't explain. Hmm. But I'm so confused why it's not showing that is giving it. It's showing it shouldn't again. even show up here because it's, it's not even the first again, like four turn turns. Two. What's this skill called again, sorry? Blue, Blue blood. blood. It's showing um, again. And a single three. one of these turns is telling it. I'm just looking at the right side how you said. So after turn four, it shouldn't show. There it goes. Then it goes. No, it away. should show. But no, what? No, it went away. Really? What the hell? No, it's still there. 
I'm well, first of all, I'm trying to. I'm just like skimming through the. I'm. I might just expand all turns. Fuck it. No, this is. They're. They're all still here. I'm trying to see so if, it, if it's up in here, the fucking know. report somewhere. It's. It's just not listed for some reason. It's here. He's getting buffed. But I don't know why it's not showing up. Where though? Where though? Like you're saying on the right, like compared to yeah, other... where it says Legion attack fifteen, Legion defense fifteen. Like I was saying earlier, this is the only thing that is not showing up here. That's kind of weird, considering it's a fucking skill. Why it's not showing up on the on the actual report? We can we can account immediately for it. It's his. bugged. It's bugged. <laughs> it's bugged, dude. Call CS. We can right immediately now. account for the blessing, but Bro, that doesn't it, even I mean, show up until bugged. next turn. It is bugged. It is bugged. I'm looking at the reports. Like I'm just going through all of them and like literally clicking everything. So I'm only on the one that's six seconds in, and then it says Bertrand's plateau protection when it's Tohar's. Like, <laughs> it yeah. But if you look at the it. first turn, it says Tohar's Earth conduit has triggered. But, <laughs> but when you go see when he's shooting it, it says t um, Bertrand's doing it. Oh, I, see. I was about to say. I was saying it says, uh... Oh, no, it says here, right here, Tohar's using Earth Conduit. What the hell? Why is the other one saying it was Bertrand? Goofy. Anyway. 25%. I'm just skimming one through it. I'm trying, is, it says, um... I'm trying to see where it says blue blood, but at this point... I think it's how you said it. It might just show off to the right there. I don't think it, uh... Still so confused why it's just randomly saying that... Oh, we're just gonna give, him it, give it to him immediately. Well, if you think about it... Makes sense. Ah, hold on. Okay, uh, I see this now. Uh oh, uh oh. He's so if it. I'm looking at your little, your yeah, Lilia yeah, yeah, Valen yeah. and Bertrand, Lilia, 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 Lilia Valen, Bertrand Valen. Uh -huh. The very first turn, Bertrand does have the 15 and 15 percent attack and defense, but the moment Lilia starts countering back, it vanishes. So it is there. It so just this doesn't show. It. Yeah, it is there. It just obviously just like we were saying earlier, it doesn't show up. So on the enemy, every skill Bertrand, Bertrand's third skill, Bertrand's fourth skill, and Tohar's third skill are all on there, but they're never listed saying that he's getting buffed because they're just normal stats that you gain when you're fighting. Because they're technically not buff effects, they're normal unit stats. Right. However, obviously Bertrand's fourth skill, if you get hit for one turn, it vanishes. You have to get away and um, not take normal attack for three seconds. Then it reactivates. So, okay, we can say counterattack does not remove his 30%. Add that to the notes. It is goofy that you had to like really look into it, but then again, I, I guess, I guess this is this makes sense because Valen does the same thing. Does he? Because you gain a crit rate, and it's not a buff; it's just a Legion stat you get. You never get mentioned that he got buffed for the rest of the battle. It just immediately shows up on his stat board. Is any hero that says that your X troops get this X buff? Yeah. Just shows up there. Because they're not a buff effect for a certain amount of time. It's a perma buff. Unless a condition is met and then it gets removed. Right, look at the Lily of Alien taking 255 a turn. Well, technically, it, it it should be getting hit harder, right? Because I mean, yeah, it is. Because Tohar has, has the counterattack. <laughs> okay, okay. 
Dude, these, to be fair though, do like how we mentioned that battle logs don't have everything? Dude, they, they almost seem to have like too much of stuff that you don't need and then not enough of what you do because like I'm, I'm reading through each individual one, right? And it keeps referencing like changes though to the hero's skill damage like every turn, which obviously it does, but it's like you only need to look at the time it was casted. So whenever you, you cast after the, I think after the third one, it's always like do a 30% buff. But if you read every single one, every single uh, report, you know, it keeps changing every time it's... Uh... I will say the battle log does get a bit goofy for these long fights. Like, it just has no idea what to do. And obviously, when you're getting lower, <laughs> the stats also kind of get weird. Or if you trigger things at the same time as well, like, holy hell. Because if you look at the uh, at rage skills, you see at a minute 24, one rage skill was shot, and then you don't see another one until 10 seconds later. Oh, you so can... obviously you never see that happen. I'm looking at this fight right now, and like I'm looking at the little letter. You can see where it, it hits the focus. Like it gets like, yeah, a it little does. challenge. It does do that for the ten percent, the ten percent chance. I mean, any buff you get this is for a certain amount of time, you always see a little letter. This is this is the Eliana Garwood fight right here by just watching this for hours <laughs> on end. Watching paint dry, bro. Watching fucking paint dry. Oh man, this is gonna be such a good video. Holy. What's interesting is that Lilia March is taking less counter attack. No, it's I not. I mean, then again, this dude is yellow. At the at the beginning, no, he was it, taking a, yeah, he, was he was taking, taking more. more in the beginning. Now we're what one sixty. Like Tohar Bertrand was, we're taking the same amount, but the moment those a little um, Tohar's little skill popped, it started taking less. The little, the little buffs, the little cheater buffs. The when the buff effects kicked, they started taking less. How many uh, legions you got left, guns? Thirty-nine. Thirty-nine. And I gotta scroll all the way down for this. Um. Okay. Here's I mean, he's thing. taking Here's like a Here's the thing, right? Here's the, I'm gonna add this as a side note. The Mirage Orb, right? Hear me out. Hear me out. The Mirage Orb. If you look at the Mirage Orb's details, right? It relies on uh, every time your Legion gains a buff effect through a hero skill, they deal 7% more artifact damage, right? The I think. Mm -hmm. My speculation is that Tohar is going to be the only one that buffs this shit up because each one of his little earth conduits counts as fucking hero skill damage. Even though yeah. No, so... Go ahead, go ahead, Gray. So it doesn't say hero skill damage, it says hero skill. So anytime you get a buff through, like, you can even prompt it with Thea's primary, where Thea's on rage skill, because you get a buff effect through her rage skill, and it's not doing damage. You can right. get it from Bertrand's skill, his second skill, right. because he gets that little stack. Well, Any what, hero that gives your own legion a buff gets a stack. But what I'm saying is, based on what we saw in the reports today, each Earth a conduit counted as fucking the hero skill. No, it's, you have to get a buff effect, like mm -hmm. the like it's it at? different. It at? It's a, the, his it's third a hero skill and no, his four skill. His unyielding and shelter, so that's two stacks immediately. So you go up to 14%. And then when you finish, you know, you get 35% keen. So that's, there's already three stacks within like 10 turns. So you're already up to your three. Yeah, I'll be at the Frost Giant, Moodunk. Will you? Okay, anyways, as a side note, I'm going to put, maybe we can ask. Like you could say Hosk. You know, Hosk could technically proc it immediately with his red skill. You know what I mean? Yeah, but Hosk is, we already tested Hosk. I think you get it. No, Lilia doesn't do it either. You don't get, Lilia would be useless because you wouldn't so get Tohar, it. So Tohar, Burr, at least from what I counted, I might be wrong. But they have about five buffs compared to Lilia, Valen have two or three, I think. Yeah, and they're all skill tree related. If that. They might be the only ones that get it to max of the 21%, bro, for additional effect. 
Well, caged animal gives you a buff. Does was caged we animal? Really need to find was out. caged animal giving us compound interest? No, it wasn't, right? Nope. Well, actually, you wouldn't. No, since it's a hero skill, you would never prompt it with a Lilia Valen. Because Valen inflicts debuffs. You would never get it with a Lilia Valen. You would get it with Thea, Bertrand, and Tor. Granted, with a Thea, you take forever. Okay, let's look at the let's look at the results of the damage. Right? Actually, okay, so Gore. I think Skogel, Lex loses would increase. Okay, Bert Tohar versus Gore Skogel, right? Twenty-eight to thirty-nine, or twenty-eight to three point nine. Lilia Valen. Versus Gory Skogel, 5.7 to 28. They do the same amount of damage. It's just that oh, one's it's tanky. The time. It's the time. It's the time. Look at the time. Look at the time of uh, the battle. Three minutes compared to like a full four minutes. Okay, this one was the bottom one. Bert Tohar was about roughly uh, three under minutes. Under three minutes. Barely. Is it under? Okay, under. So was it... Two minutes and fifty. Fifty-five seconds, isn't it? If that's an eight and a three in the end, both of them. That's a two and three, and then it started at thirteen fifty twenty-eight and ended at thirteen fifty-three twenty-three. Yeah, yeah, it's two minutes fifty-five. Okay, and then the other one. What about the other one? <laughs> it lasted like under four. Yeah, three three minutes fifty. So a whole minute longer. 45 Damn. seconds is it? Yeah, bro. Yeah. I, I mean, you, would you really seconds. see this in the, in the open field? Would it really do that much? I mean, ironically enough, I would consider it like compound interest, right? If you think about it, if you're able to maneuver around the field with uh, Burt and Tohar, right? If you're doing, bro, you're doing a minute difference in damage, right? They're doing that much more damage when they're proccing their skills. Over time, if you're positioning well and you're not getting hit, it can stack up to some crazy numbers, bro. I guess you, what you need your little gang of Bertrand Tohars to be running around just melting tanks. <laughs> He'll be like the thing a... is right. <laughs> the thing is right. Look at look at look at the numbers. It's it's four, forty five seconds quicker, right? But um, is is that what it was? I think it was forty-five seconds. He didn't have um, he didn't have a pet. Mm, well, no artifact. Pet, not using an artifact. They never did. So, we no, did. I this never. Is well, that's what I'm saying. This is raw stuff. With Grace staying in the just in the field and that. Obviously, you can have an artifact in the field. You can have your pet. So Wait, guns, didn't more... you have an artifact on? Yeah, on my on my fucking tank. It doesn't matter. Though. Yeah. Yeah, I, mean, so that's I guess. So, yeah, so, so that's so you're welcome, bro. Like and I appreciate you coming into the stream, man. Yeah, I guess, I guess you do way have way. a lot more defense than you, but... guns. I'd just be interested, right? I'd just be interested if you run it again, and but just don't have the artifact <laughs> or your or your pet on. I'm Ta just curious. Ta Ta just gonna curious. be like, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> well, no, Ta Ta like, bro, what was the fucking bro, point of these? He said that he's down for the cause. He's like, anything that can help us. Yeah, yeah, honestly. Try try it without a pet gun. But honestly, I think we're fine with this. We we know Bertrand Tohar better. Come on, come on. Right, a whole minute, bro. We we know Bertrand Tohar is better against tanks. You do you do about the same damage, you just take less. Which is good for us. Forty five seconds, yeah. Almost a full minute, that's crazy. Bro, that's a lot of bro, that's a lot of damage, bro. If you think about that's a it, full, that's like four. That's a four and a half ridge skill difference. That is a lot of fucking damage. Yeah. Damn. And people say Lilia Valen, um, uh, fucking rage faster because you have the rage engine on them. While Bertrand Tor, you actually just want more raw um, crit damage. Who are good pairings with Bert? Uh, Tohar. Tohar, 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 and Tohar. And Thea, <laughs> if you're running flyers. I'm gonna tell him, I'm about to tell him right now, Thea. Um, so Bert, Bert, Bert can go well with just any, like any of the other mages, bro. But Tohar is like the, the main one that gets Bert to his full potential. It's not bad with any of the other ones. For example, here, 
we ran this is a good one that I'm sure you'd like to see. We ran a Burt Valen, Lilia Valen, right? Burt Valen still beat Lilia Valen, right? So um it goes well with that. I'm sure if we switched it around and did Burt Lilia, it would probably still do it would probably still do well. So I think a Lilia Burt would have done better. <clears throat> Just so Bertrand can have a 20% um, skill damage boost oh. and that 8% from the rage. So it's almost a 30%. It's about as... You're because almost the getting to the toe hard levels of rage skill. But not really. I heard you can get two stacks with Valen. Uh, yes and. Yes and no. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, go ahead, answer that one. I, go ahead, you can answer that one. I feel like you understood that one a little better than I did. Answer it, bro. I'm going to use the bathroom real quick. So you can only get two stacks with Valen if he's secondary, but it's basically useless because it would run out, it would run out before you can be able to get your rage skill again. His well, awakening he... does not prompt compound interest again. So yeah, you're we only able to get... to get compound interest once per turn. We need to get um, we need to get guns to do the we need to do the archer test. Like guns needs to run Hoss Kanara for the counter attack and we need to have a uh, toxic run the uh, Toa Bertrand. Don't wanna, I'd like to see that. I think that'll be interesting. Do so you want him to be able to use rage skill? Is that any hero? So what else would you recommend? Who should I use? If you're running Bertrand, um you're if you don't want to get Tohar, you you're probably better off with just Thea. Um you could get away with a Lilia primary, Bertrand secondary. But I don't, I don't really think so. It, it would, it wouldn't really matter. Lilia, Bertrand, Bertrand, Lilia. You are, you're getting only one stack off on Bertrand. What was the testing like with them? Um, was no one, have you not actually done testing with like Bert, Thea, Thea, Bert? Because didn't they reckon that with the one of Thea's uh, skill trees that you could get at least two stacks consistently with Bert? I'm guessing you're talking about her little, what's it called? But there's like one of the talents that you can get like a, yeah, a, one a rage killer. skill off if you heal. But it's not really good. The support tree is not that great. You're probably off. You're better off running like overall than PvP. Guns. Yep. Let's let's try uh, bring out your host and then have uh, Toxic bring out uh, Bertrand Toha. I'd be, I'd be interested to see. Make sure it's out of range. I'd just be interested we're to see doing, how it works. We're doing yeah, because... flyers right now. Oh, you did a fly one? Yeah. Well, that's the one that you want to do next? Uh, I want to see how his how his Toha, uh, his Bertrand Toha matches up against Hoss Kanara. Like just on counterattack. We're not talking about, like, normal attack. We're just, like, yeah. out of range archers, you know what I mean? So you're just taking counterattack. Yeah, because obviously tanks, in a way, tanks is a weird one, right? Because obviously they're built to absorb the damage, but, like, if you if you overwhelm the tanks, they're going to, you know what I mean? Like, tanks, tanks is there to get focused anyway. It'll be interesting to see when people are hitting, you know, the damage dealers, and obviously archers, especially, um, I think it would be good if we had a T5, T5 Spring Warden. Wait, is Jake T5 Spring, is Jake T5 Spring Warden? Because Spring Warden's no, he's, he's, he's the orc faction. Cutthroat, cutthroat boost, 100% Burt Tohar is the move, bro. 1,000%, actually. Because that's what I was thinking, Gray, with, um, because the fucking, um, Spring Warden archers are, have the most attack, don't they? Like, the most attack of all the archers. I mean, they do, but that 5% damage boost is better. Yeah, cutthroat. 100%. It depends, right? Like, um, if you only went Burt, I would say Burt Thea. I would say Burt Thea. Um, I mean, we're about to find out. And then Lily of <laughs> I see an, a Thea Atheist versus a Burt... Um... Oh Thea, bro, so. last time, last time, last time this this shit on my build, and he wasn't even six starred. So, it was, hard bro, it, was, when... it was like a it was like a eight k difference last time, bro. So this time, gotta probably, find out. That this time is probably gonna be like, was it was it two? Were we using two hundred? I can't remember if we were using two hundred or not. I think y'all were using like, yeah, y'all were using two hundred because you sent a hundred k out and you got melted. <laughs> I remember that you were freaking out. Oh yeah, when I fucked up, I was like, "Hey, no way!" I'm like, "They're so much better." <laughs> Bro, we need that clip. That shit was funny. You're just losing your four, 
five, six, seven. See, doing uh, the doing the timing that right. Was whole oh, that was like fucking Dude. twelve fucking cycles that he was in the yellow. Six thousand crit, holy. Yeah, doing doing the doing the rage is going well as uh, or like syncs up. Obviously, Lilia because because this is uh, Lil, the Lily atheist does less uh, so much less damage. When you shield, you're absorbing multiple hits. Obviously, though, when you hit your rage from Bertrand on his shield, it just breaks his shield in one. Like those those when they time up, this is disgusting. Like this, look, shield gone, boom. He, bro, it still did rage damage too. It broke the shield and still did more damage. Bertrand said, That's "Fuck crazy. your shield." Not yeah. even, bro. Not even saying you. You notice that the shield disappears before yeah, the yeah, rage shield even hits it. So attack damage is. It's well, I, I think on the first. Yeah, I think the first time I noticed it. Sorry, it was like literally the same time, so it broke the shield. But yeah, these ones here are like the shield's disappearing and then he's getting hit. And then <laughs> the little rage skill Bronx. And then when Atheist wants to hit Toxic, uh, not really. Never mind. I was about to say, when Atheist wants to hit back, it does it. But holy, bro, look at the difference. Toxic is probably around like a 45%, and Guns is already down to like 10, 20%. You're at, what, how much are you at right now? I'm at 36. All right, Toxic's at 81. Who are we fighting? We're going to be fighting A-C. What's their actual name, by the way? I don't really know their name. But all You're I know is that their alliance is falling down because AAC or Ancients oh, is just yoinking them. Good, Ancients hey, of Chaos. Good luck fighting FSK, bro. Those guys are barbarians. Those guys are fucking barbarians and be ready for a fight. Be ready to not. Bro, they zeroed a bit my homie Toxic just for the fun of it. Be ready not to sleep. That's Good crazy, way. but my dude's still 72 k Look at the difference, bro. So that was 48 seconds after he hit red, and he uh, after you hit red, and he never went red. I mean, granted, my day is pretty low, right? But still, bro, like. Ugh. But you have her expertise and six dart, obviously. Yeah. And it's but this nine. is a 10 k difference, bro. This is crazy. It's actually 11 k difference. Okay, the other. Okay, this is... I'll put this one here. Yeah. Like I said, some of these are looking looking better. As you say, Bertrand seems to be shining the most, so whether it's just... Tohar is literally just being purely the support as his nature, or if he is... Maybe Tohar is just a little bit... You know, whether he... Bro, needs a Tohar book. might actually just go <laughs> stupid on the garrison. He's about to go dummy on the garrison, bro. He gets that... I can't wait to that reach the wall. He gets the raw 25% <laughs> stats, bro. That's 20%, 20, but... 20. Be, yeah. He gets the raw 20% oh, and like... Over Remember, you're always going to hit your, your passive skill, the Earth Conduit. The only issue is who you pair him with. Like, who are you going to slap him with? Lilia Secondary. Can I make these two marches race? Like, to see their speed? I mean, my Thea would win. Easy. Your yeah. is built the Thea Atheist would win. Yeah, the Thea Atheist is definitely faster. I have twenty percent march speed that Atheist just casually has. I am gonna run another one because some people don't have Thea Max and they were wondering like how good uh Thea or sorry Bertrand Atheist is. So we'll run that one. Respectfully, are you gonna test that out? Respectfully, you get your favorite out. I, uh, Wait, what? I don't you said saying? people people want to see Bertrand atheist. I would say respectfully focus on getting Thea awakened. <laughs> but if, if you if want to Bert, switch faction, if Bert does better than Thea, right? If the if the if the Bert atheist still beats Thea atheist, and you can already mix Bert with other heroes and deal more damage, then for sure get Bert up. Over, yeah, over which... fucking Thea, bro. I mean, I guess Thea, like, if you're not a human Thea's faction, overall, you're, you kind of have to, like, you have to have Thea up, yeah. and you would never get Bertram, because, you know, the, there's no I'm flying just... mages, unless you yeah. want ground units, which is goofy. I'm just thinking with Thea being, you know, you know, she, she could be using any march, right? She could be using Celestials, Wyverns, um, Flying Chickens. Flying Cat's gonna eat the Thea, Bert. Yeah, bro, yes, sure. You catch them, if you catch them off, off pace, right? But a lot of the times... 
these are big open field battles, dude. If those flying chickens get anywhere near a fucking ball, they're gonna get melted, bro. Facts. Done. Well, actually, that's Addy. a contest. Addy. Bro, th these flyers might have to be near like a lily of Valen just to like prevent people from like trying to poke them. That'd be a good test, you know. I mean, this only test you could do, right? But like flying chickens on Bert Toha because obviously Bert Toha is supposed to. Oh, they would get melted, bro. What? They would. Lose. I think they would lose. Yes, but I don't, I don't think. I don't think melted because of the defense. It's ball. not going to be like um, a Thea atheist because the DPS that you know Bert Shrink and obviously Pont Brock will save you. We already saw how much of a difference it was. It was like a thirty percent, uh, not even thirty percent. It was like a yeah, somewhere around there, more increase. They're just the micro things you want to know, though, right? What if you did get caught with your pants down in the field? Like, you know, at least then you'd, you'd know. Do you just, do you just, you know, do you run just tank you it or like try to run away? No, you yeah. fight it, bro. If you're in a point where you're like you're not getting away, you just fight it. Oh no, that's, I mean, that's, that's a given, isn't it? Yeah, well, no, that's a given. What I mean is, is you know, if if you know. Do you go if if you if you could get away either back to your city or someone else's city? Do can't you can't put flyers in cities? Is it flyers or is it only because I like, don't because Toha walks will that work? You can't put celestials in cities. You can put flying cabs or the flying. What chickens. the hell? They didn't want to give the flyer mage the flying mages any more buffs, bro. They said y'all already OP. <laughs> yeah, bro. I don't know. I need to see Toxic. I mean, th th this is probably me just like losing my mind, but I need to see Toxic actually rather than let you hit him and engage. I want to see both engage. Oh, here it's we go. Here we go. He's doing it. Shit, bro. It's the same, bro. Regardless, you're just tripping. Yeah, you're smoked. That one guy, Sneaky, <laughs> said he was going to be using Bert Atheist. I mean, we're about to find out if it's worth it or not. You know what I mean? I mean, Bert Ath from our previous test, Bert Atheist still beat. They uh atheists, right? The, now the we're gonna find is, out about how much. The thing is, like, how much better is it? From what I saw, and my last recommendations, and it's looking like it's gonna be the same recommendation. Just go Bert atheist. Like, Thea is such a massive investment, right? She's not a wheel commander. She's not easy to. She's not easy to boost up. I think if your main mage, she's still a for sure a awaken. Because I mean I I run her I'm gonna run her with my Lilia I'm gonna run Lilia Thea I'm gonna run Lilia Thea so um, it's still a really good investment but if you're like a little bit more limited and want to get like the best possible because I mean this this is a Gen two hero right so season two you're already gonna have Bert so why not just like awaken him out real quick. So it actually there, depends when they decide to put this guy in. I mean, they're Gen 2 heroes. They could keep Season T1, bro. Who knows? You think so? I don't know. I don't know. I don't think so. Cutthro, what was his reasoning for saying that he was going to use Burt Atheist, though? Because I promise you, based off the testing that we have done, Burt Atheist does not do better than Burt Thea. And look at the look at the yellow bars right now, bro. Yeah. You're not beating him by a significant difference compared to like how the Bert Thea was. And that's what I'm saying. Like, depending on your progression of your account, if your Thea is kind of shit, then yeah, just to get your atheist, it gets the job done. Look at this, it gets the job done. Obviously, Bert would be technically the better investment, right? Because but... damage, nah, atheist is. You really think you really think that 800 skill damage is gonna be equal to like all the stats Thea has? No shot. I'm not saying that. No, uh, uh, Mr. Sneaky. If that, if he's talking about damage. Well, then again, he didn't give us the 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 context for why he said that. You know, it could very well be of like his his. If Thea, anything, I'm gonna look Thea, at that video right now. His Thea. I mean, I just watched his recent video. I don't remember him talking about. Um, who he was going to pair with who. So, Bert or Tohar? I would still say Bert, bro. I would still say Bert. I would still say Bert. Um, because Bert goes well with any of the other heroes, and he also just greatly improves the flying march. So, you get, like, Oof. two of, two of both. both uh, <clears throat> let's, okay. see this, uh, let's see this 15 to 23. 
to 16 to 27. Yeah, like it's a difference. But if you think about the investment made to Athea, yeah, guys, I would for sure. Let me see. Take a little bit more skill damage. Well, but you like do, you do five. You you take one k more skill or uh, seven wounds, but you do. What was it? Go back. Was it twenty seven to like what? There's only a twelve second difference, I think. Is if I sorry because I'm obviously I'm on delay in that. I think there's only a twelve second difference in the delay. So I suppose Bert Atheist isn't actually that bad. Well, that's what I'm saying. That's why I, I mean, like like I've been saying the past five minutes. If I mean, they, yeah, if they is like yeah. if your day is shit, like in you know, I still think if your main mage, she's a must awaken because she can proc shields for your neighboring, uh, your other mage march next to you. So that has huge value, right? Um, yeah. If if your day is kind of shit, then yeah, just for sure go Bertrand and Atheist. It still does the job. But if your main mage, and depending on your progression of your account and your ability. Um, to awaken the X amount of heroes, Thea is still a must invest. She's like, it's a must, bro. She's proccing shields for people next to her. Yeah, so if you're running double better, marches. Atheist or Thea? You just got back. Uh, yeah, he, just he, did, he did more damage he to missed, oh, just with a Bertrand Thea, basically. He took less saps with a Bertrand Atheist, but he did more damage with a Bertrand Thea. I suppose Atheist, is, isn't he the one who procs? He can proc the healing, no? Yeah, you could get healing out of it. Birch and Thea definitely does more damage. I mean... If you look you at the healing, he was only up because of the healing factor. Like That's basically about the difference. I mean, I've been saying this for a long time, guys. You guys, like, there's a lot of people out there that run Atheist primary, and I'm just like... Nah, dog. Nah, bro. Like, you'll see it, and, you, and you guys will continue seeing it. But those of you guys that have been following my channel or my content for a while, like, you guys see how many kills I have on my Thea, bro. 130 million PvP kills. Like, I have more kills with Thea alone than most people have in their entire fucking profile. And then when they sit here and argue with me about Atheist is better. Like, come on, bro. I am. Okay, so I'm looking at Mr. Sneaky's video. The reason he's going for Atheist is because he has an expertise... Well, he has Thea five three two two. Yeah. So I mean, yeah, that yeah, I mean, that yeah, sense. at that point you would want Atheist instead of Thea. <laughs> not trying to hate or anything, but like that Thea is not going to be better than an expertise Atheist. This guy's had an awakened Thea, Thea for four days, and his ego has skyrocketed. Bro, an awakened Thea is just that much better than a a standard five. What was it? Five three two two. Dude, I mean, I'm I'm not hating. <laughs> Dude, I'm not hating. All right. And if you don't have Thea expertise, basically, but you have Atheist, then yeah, go for the Atheist. Anything. All right, we're moving he should, in. He should have had a 5-5 five, five Thea, at least. Especially with a Burt. Come on, Guns, get this fucking... Get this get this uh, Burt Toha versus uh, Hoskinara counter build. What? Who, what's the point of that? Bro, just to see just general damage. Just to see how it goes against Archers? I don't well, know. the thing is, it's gonna the thing is, guns. shit on by archers. No, 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 no. Yeah, you can drop it to like a hundred k, bro. You don't have to send the two hundred out. I don't think we have to test that one, bro. I'll be honest. I don't know how much time, chat. How much should more we time test it? Has. We need to ask chat. Chat no, is gonna tell I us. No, I think we need to test it, right? You don't want to test get it out. one v one. Both you guys get out right you now. Get out, bro. I'm not. On, I'm not on the same side, bro. I'm just kind of. Yeah, I'm just saying we gotta let the people decide, bro. I just think you gotta. um Obviously not a one v one because we know archers will win, but you, you need to. I see Moodogs had test it. Yeah, you need to you need to test it attacking a march because if you're in the field, because of the defense buffs as well that Toha gives Bro, you. Bro, we you know we know just based off the stats that they're gonna take less counterattack damage. Like we don't even yeah, need but to you, test you, that. Yeah, True, but you fair see, enough. You, see, you know what I'm saying? I'm on gun side now. Counterattack so damage. Bro, we, Toxic's been here for the past two hours and forty three minutes. I'm not gonna have do a test that we know the answer to. It's not about knowing the answer directly. It's about sort of seeing how it interacts, just sort of seeing how the numbers stack up. Because in the field, you're going to want to, if you, especially if you can as a T5 or even a strong T4, you want to be hitting these archers and you want to be able to see how much damage you're doing because obviously they've got one of the... <laughs> Don't say, bro, you can't switch sides. Murdog, I've switched sides. I've been paid off by the devs. <laughs>
you just want to, you just want to know like how you just want to see the value. I think I think that'll just be good. Uh, you just have to make sure Toxic stays within the maximum range, so he doesn't just get Hosk Hanarod, basically. Because I mean, this this Thinju on Fragar, right, which uh, is stronger in a one v one, but um, but obviously if you're going for counter attack, it, it does a little bit less. So it, I think that you know this is just the ultimate pushing it. You know this this pushes it to the absolute. Guns, you do have an artifact out. Yeah, I know. But, uh, yeah, have fun. Check for that pet boy. Check for that little pet. Little Farming snow, darklings little casually. Snow pink rogue. The snow <laughs> pink rogue. I don't know who better. Bro, I haven't been able to catch no two star Phaedrix to save my life. Bro, I haven't, yeah. I haven't, I haven't been able to catch a fucking any star Phaedrix. <laughs> I got zero star today. I got, I got. Bro, they had a gun up to my head and said, "Get a one star Phaedrix, bro." I just say, "Pull it, bro." A, a two star, it ain't happening. <laughs> it's not happening. Yo, we're Batman, never seeing a two star. Just remember to tell Toxic to stay. Yeah. Wait, well, yeah, Thea, but, but she's on. five, two, three, one. Should I use Ace this instead since she's not awakened? Well, What's her third well, skill? Well, guns is smart. Walking to range, for, though. For that, I would say for that, um, you need to do your own testing. So this is mm -hmm. one thing. So this is some of the things that I always that I always say in my channel. It's like when you look at all the content creators, right? We all come to our own conclusions. But our conclusions don't necessarily mean that it's the best for your account. You get what I'm saying? Like, we're testing a lot of Awakened Heroes and whatnot, but you got to do, like, your own testing. Kind of, like, look at how, how I'm doing the testing here. Find somebody in your alliance that you guys can run this because everyone's account's different, right? Just because, so, for example, a lot of people, their Lily of Balin is just going to do substantially better than their new heroes. Their new heroes might not even be ready till next season. Right, so that's why in the beginning, when when you're in this first zone, when you're not really fighting, if you know you didn't get a hot drop on you or whatever, you need to do your own testing. But based off what I think, I do think that you should uh, you should just use your atheist awakened. And your based on what we've seen as an as an right. awakened Thea versus an awakened atheist, right. but definitely I think you could get away testing. still with an awakened, yeah. I think at the baseline, Thea should be triple five, at least. And then you can switch to her. I've got a bad feeling your thing's going to walk into... Oh, he didn't... No. Yeah, he's taking 900. I mean, it's not too bad. I mean, it's better Wait, than taking, does... like... Oh, he's oh, yeah, double... down to 600. Oh! oh! Does Tohar's fucking, um... 12K! <laughs> 11K, that's wild. Oh, oh my god, like... bro. I told you, bro. bro it's because of the it. magic. It's because of the magic defense, bro. They they don't have that good of de magic. Defense. Know, magic defense is non-existent, bro. bro he's, he's taking less counterattack than to bro. than. Holy, bro! I think also, guys. I think we just answered the the, the fact that you know. Wait. I think we just answered. We just answered the fact that um. I suppose this, in a way, means that people will want to take that ranged archers just so they can eighteen k. Like people will want that ranged ar uh, archer mag uh, archer mage range just so they can fucking hit you. Because like, look at this. Like, if 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 they're hit uh, hitting a tank or something else, and you're just doing this to them from afar, they're just gonna keep fucking. <laughs> they don't <laughs> run away from that shit, but they don't want to yeah, get hit by that. Just send their archers home. Bro. Look at that, yeah. bro. Nah, that's. Guys, by the way, that's no artifact, so no magic magic buff artifact, which would be sixty two percent if it was um, sixty out of sixty, and that's no pet. Can I share? Okay, okay. no artifact. This is just that straight is wild, normal stats. Bro. I told you, bro, that is fucking wild. Guns <laughs> I bet it sent it like you know, just like look at this one v one. People would go hog wild, and they would have no idea. Like, oh, was this within range? What's happening here? <laughs> I'm, I'm remember this, <laughs> people would and, lose their mind. <laughs> but then, remember, you're gonna see similar stuff with them. Um, do and the people who do send their cabs in, whether it's the flying chickens or even just cabs. You know, when people try and get a little bit ambitious, you're gonna do the That's exact same sure, shit man. to them as well. You think I tell? No, you the issue is a Sindri on Fragar. I I'd rather not get near that though. Savagon, I think I think having pets and artifacts added just kind of like mess up the base. Uh, 100%. Thing that we're trying 100%. to test, you know what I mean? Because 
I'm sure Toxic's fucking artifacts and pets are substantially better than mine, you know? So I mean, he has where, his there'll artifacts, be, there'll be way too out. many, we're ba there'll be way too many variables there. He wants to see, to he wants to see Toxic Stone Archery, if you have it. So, he has, uh, when he showed it to me, he, uh, it's a garrison one, bro. The Bertrand one's what you want to see. That's what you Bertrand. want to see. You don't the, want to see the Tohar one. The next one we're going to test right now is we have the prototype. We're going to... We might just run it again. Fuck it. Because the first one's... Against the archers or what? No. The beginning ones. <laughs> Stan was losing his mind. So the Bertrand... Bertrand Dude, you know, you know? Okay. Dude, that was wild. <laughs> <laughs> that was kind of wild. That was crazy, bro. I ain't gonna the lie. fucking 10k skill was nuts. The 18,000 crit was wild. That's what I, that's what, was what the, got what me was, crazy. Wait, there's the 18 crit. Yeah, bro. If you look yeah, at the battle log, you see yeah. minus 18,000 crit. 12k on that one. Damn, bro. 12k. 2k. What turn? They're like the end up, but it's like it's it's there. You see a minus 18,000. Yeah, this. I see eleven thousand. You, 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 you passed it. You passed it. You passed it. You passed it. Nineteen. Is it nineteen, bruh? He said eighteen, though, right? I'm sure it said it. Yeah, I saw an eighteen, but it it, is. it could have been normal attack as well. That's giving the, the extra one thousand, bruh. Sure. <laughs> I suppose obviously your, your, mark it, bro. your mark was a lot lower, which you know is half HP, so no wonder it's doing pretty much double damage. But that is so that's still wild, bro. Doing eighteen thousand to an archer. Okay. Now imagine, like I said, imagine the you've got the, imagine um, the artifact, imagine the orb, orb. Of, and Makes that the orb. an infernal flame would have melted that dude. I mean, we already know, and we talked about this. Chat, if you guys don't know this, we talk about this a lot. Um, whenever you have your magic units, you want to proc your artifacts on archers because archers don't have good magic defense, right? And mm -hmm. you guys will see that. Even even Saint has, like, uh, he's, like, fucking T4.9 at this point, and he's hitting T5 archers for, like, what, 10, 12K a piece? Each Inferno for, like, that's, like, 30K, 40K fucking damage. Just taking positive trades against T fives. I, I will say though, archers. Uh, nah, I, I do, I do, I do run around with the with the dirty little combo. I don't want to give away too many secrets. Yo, Rog, what's good, bro? Oh, he doesn't want to give away too many secrets. This, this dude, bro, he, he <laughs> thinks dude. he's SCB easy hey, now. This dude. He, he thinks he's SCB easy now. I would ESCB alive in a one v one. Oh my okay, god! Okay, brother. Okay, steady rally this guy right now. Relax, brother. Bro, SCB back. easy would swarm your shit with the two million T one vestals he had. <laughs> now he had he had, a, he had a, his million was in celestials. His million was in celestials. No, those were vestals. I swear, I remember seeing one million T ones. Bro, I used to pilot the account. This is celestials. Hey yo, what? Hey yo, what? What? Saint admitting what? to piloting on stream? Ban him. Crazy. What? Ban this guy. And actually. What? Actually banned. What? But no, bro. <laughs> that 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 archer that archer report was wild. Now imagine three mage marches focusing <laughs> down <laughs> a little archer march that think they're a uh, little hosk archer march that thinks it's gonna come bully us. Negative. You playing on streaming giant and elite giant? Damn. Oh. Dog, I don't know about that one, bro. Last time VC got kind of wild, and we honest, we should we should never record VC. <laughs> there were some crazy <laughs> shit. <said laughs> the we last should time. never record VCs. <laughs> two second of that, two seconds of that VC would have gotten us uh, like a TOS strike, bro. Instantly. Wait, when was this? What was this? During the um the bear raid, oh, they were saying yeah, some crazy that? stuff in VC, and. We we, oh, wait, we cannot say that on now. stream. Oh yeah, no, I remember. You're on about the normal one, yeah, the normal run. Yeah, we can't say dude, that, that on dude stream. Wild. Yeah, that dude was wild. <laughs> we can't say who <laughs> and what they said on stream. <laughs> well, we'll let you know on like PMs or something. I don't know, but it was wait, pretty crazy. Wait, Sav, is Sav referring to what I said? The SCB account with all the Celestials? Because that's yeah, we could have we could have needed that last season against Neff. Yeah, yeah, so. you did. Wait, have what happened to that account? Yoda bought it. It's Yoda bought the account. But wait, Sav, what account? 
Wait, wait, not account. What alliance are you even in now? He no Stab's in TFS, but that's uh, you know last season they formed, didn't they? But uh, Stab, what bull, did you bull, mean? Bull, Who? Oh, bull, bull. So, <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That would have. Been oh, I, I was bull, like, bull, what bull, are you talking bull, about? He literally sent two hundred fifty k Hoskinar. <laughs> oh, Hoskinar two hundred fifty thousand times last season. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, imagine I, f I actually do feel sorry um, for whoever comes up against the Fisto this season with the extra stamina. Like, God damn! Yeah, bro. Yeah. <laughs> bro, Listen, that stamina is going to be annoying. Our boy, our boy Nefisto was on the phone with the devs. You know, shout out to fucking Slongers. But, uh, <laughs> hey, hey, you guys going to get my my stamina or what? <laughs> <laughs> Crazy, <laughs> crazy. I need you guys to increase no, my I stamina know, I know right stuff. now. I, know, I, know I, spend, I spend, I spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on your game. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he's like he's crazy. A, I mean, that dude spent hundreds of thousands. He definitely put a million. <laughs> Wait, Yoda still dude's... playing? I thought Yoda ended up fucking getting rid of that account. I heard that he sold that account. That's what I heard last. Yoda still plays? That's what I'm saying. Bro, Yoda bought the account for, you know... Last time I heard Yoda that. was in season 1 plus. I haven't heard him since. Well, because we've not been there, have we? I mean, I still, like, talk to people that are in TFS, but, you know, they never say anything about Yoda. I don't know, to be honest, damn. That dude well, he's quit. Not, he's, not in, he's not in leadership, I don't think, anymore, right? So I guess he just faded out. Damn, bruh. He got be benched off his brother. own alliance. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yo, Jason said, yo, give me those, oh, no, give me the likes. No. Oh, I remember, I remember what happened to that account, never mind. DM it? DM, put it in the boys chat? Yeah. <laughs> Junk definitely got full refunded, bro. <laughs> Just lost everything. Well, it can't because, uh, well, because it's not the original owner, it's been with four different owners, so surely it... No true, 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 true. So, surely it's too far back. <clears throat> What we're doing? Is, this is good. I want to see some vestals because that's what I'm gonna have first as T5. That's okay, so this, what, are, what are we watching is, now? What's this happening is here? the test with the new and with the new uh, skill build. Oh, so this is the ex the um, experimental one. Yeah. Does this work well in particular with vestals? Technically, it should do better, right? If we're adding more hero skill damage to the tree, it should technically do better. There's no way it doesn't True. do better. Like. Actually, no way. <clears throat> he just has to get in. lucky with the buff effects. That's about it. 866. Let's see. Oh, get some like 6,200. Holy. Bro, that was three times. So that's, look, so that's eight and th that's eight and two, three. So that's 3,100. Bro, it's doing then way... The Earth of Conduit's getting buffed by that, that talent tree, I think. What's weird yeah, is the Earth of Conduit think. is a passive skill benefiting from heroes. Dude, this shit is getting wrecked now. Like, Actually, it just turned yellow. One, two, boom, 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 boom. I can't oh, see because it's. Wait, how long is this thing still? Wait, holy! This was like at least twelve to thirteen turns. What? Like toxic was still on whiteborn. You're in yellow for at least twelve turns. You're at least a rage go in yellow bar while toxic was on white bar. Damn, I have a I like lot the... of notes here for this video. This and experimental obviously... tree might actually just be crazy. <sighs> everything be, everything actually. we still got to take with a pinch of salt, though, right? Because you're testing majors on majors, which obviously still shows, like, can still show damage I mean... as a benchmark, but, you know, these are purposely meant to hit, like, archers and calves. Well, I mean, you still would mean, eventually get mage, hit majors on majors. As a mage, you know you're, you're, you're tended to fucking hit everything. No, oh, no, 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 I'm just saying they're like these, I mean, more so than anything, they shine in particular hitting these. You melt the mage them. line, then you just melt in there. Oh, for sure. Like, I mean, I'm very excited to use that Burt, bro. I, we, I saw the amount of skill damage it was doing to archers, which I love because archers love bullying mages, mm -hmm. right? And now you roll up and you start getting hit by fucking Burt's <laughs> fucking skill. Like this, this is going to get interesting with the mage range archers. Oh, that's, you know I mean? the that's the next big topic. After this video, that's going to be the next focus. Oh, but we shit. just don't have that thing yet. Yeah. Damn, I think Yo, this guns, one. I got... think this one absolutely smoked it this time, bro. Have you got um? 
Gunzo, you got uh, you got Kanara Hosk awake in six star, yeah? My Hosk is six star, my Kanara is only four. Okay, okay. But is it really that much it's of a better, difference? Bro. It could be. It's no, better, it's just bro. Not... Twenty seven. No, I, I was talking about the Hosk Kanara thing. And like, that was a nine thousand difference there. Okay, let me look at this one. Okay, so twenty six to twenty six let's actually do the math here. Actual actual calculator difference. We're gonna have to do it at least twice, guys. We're gonna have to do it at least twice. So this is the first one that we did. This looks like you only one. did like a thousand more subs. I mean, better is better, right? True. 50, it is an improvement. 50, 50's 50, bro. 50's 50. 50 is 50. Yep, then. Okay. 50 is 50. So first test. 50 is 50. Was 7.269. 7,073. Wild difference. So Toxic took 100 less sevs and did 1,000 more to you. Yeah. What was that? <laughs> Thing just like just died off camera, <laughs> like, and they just disappeared. <laughs> you good, my guy? No, I think, I think my thing just peaked. I went, yeah. Uh, that's an interesting outcome. I mean, like ten percent skill damage for five yeah, seconds. That's basically about the same time you want Tohar to be using his little like orbs. I think the one thousand. Obviously, it would be good if you worth. can prompt it. I think the one thousand one hundred difference is worth, bro. I would say that this proves that that talent tree is better, as of right now, as of right now, right? This is only a one. This is only one report. So, like, we we do need further testing to see if maybe the crits are the crits are messing it up. Wanna run it? We can. But run regardless, Bertrand Tar is doing better than Lilia Valen. So well, this is a known fact uh, now. At least the mage mans could be eating something now. That okay, guy. I can already see the thumbnail, guys. Okay, we're gonna have Lilia Valen top left, right, versus Tohar Burt, right, and in the middle in red letters, it's gonna say final verdict. Sheesh. Mage copium. <laughs> Sheesh. Man, imagine. And then we gotta put the little. We gotta put. What, what's that little guy's name that has a little plate of food where he's just like, you know, getting rid of this? What's his name? I forget. Is it Chalk? Do I have that? Is it Chalkcha? Yeah. Chalkcha with his little, like, eating emoji. Okay, we'll do another yeah. test. This should be the last one, chat. This should be the Plus, last Tox one. Tox is able to just keep sending, bro. How are you able to keep sending? Uh, what what do you mean how am I oh, able I mean, it's not too bad. Oh, you're talking about my stamina? Man, yeah, you're, you're not looking too bad. Yeah, you, you got you. Right. We're straight. We're straight. We oh chat. We have giant. You guys are gonna see giant here in a little bit, in about an hour. We'll still God. be. God. Well, we can't. We'll ha we gotta have the definite VC or something. Yeah, we'll probably. We'll, we'll yeah, probably. To... Yeah, on. we'll probably be chilling and uh. We need to download Teamspeak, bro. We need to download what? Teamspeak. Do you know what TeamSpeak is? I know uh, of it, but like, why is that so good? Like, that's I don't know of it, but teach the me. The reason why we need to down I'm thinking we download TeamSpeak is because, like, say time for war, right? We can still listen in on the Discord and what they're saying and still, like, talk amongst each other and stream. Because not everyone, you know, not everyone that joins Discord, like, uh, there's some people that get bothered when they're, like, a streamer's talking this chat, you know? But except... The kind of the dynamic that we have here, it's like a trio, you know. I respond to chat, you guys respond to chat. It's like a three-way, you know what I mean? It's almost, a, it's almost like a three-way stream, dude. They're pushing for most kills, my dude. Team my dude goal. is. <sighs> he's a bit far behind, but like, I'm a bit. If we behind, do what bro. Kyle, Kyle and his little FSK guys do, bro, he'll be top ten in like a week. Yeah, I mean. Granted, if, if AC comes out, right, which they will, right, and they, 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 they do, and based off our power, it should be a good fight. If we lack an activity, bro, they'll catch us slipping for show. But Probably had 50 people online for a village that had 10 spots. <laughs> I'm just saying, bro, I'm just saying. <laughs> we I'm had saying. 50 T4s munching for, a, for the 3500 elixir capacity. <laughs>
<laughs> you should have seen it. That is true. What I'm saying is like, we could get a good amount of kills here. Our zone 2 is going to be dead. I think their zone 2 might be a little dead. So those will be you like... You can eventually invade their zone 2 once those That's th level saying. 3 pass opens. That's what I'm saying. Like, There's a good chance oh. for this season. We're going to be mm -hmm. pushing the troops for sure. Guys. Yes, cutthroat. We are fighting AC, yeah. Yo, go Angel of Chaos? Is that... If, that's what yeah, I that's them. That yeah. yeah? I need a favor, man. You know when you... Uh, oh, you know when no. You go to the... No, I'm not going to give you... I'm not going to buy you goldies, bro. I don't need your broke-ass shit, bro. Oh, um, damn! Can, can, can wait a minute! Me. Can we get a power <laughs> check? Can we get a power <laughs> check? <laughs> Coward, <laughs> Sav, our gun's acting like he's doing tests. In reality, he's just boosting his kills. And people don't know 50% of gun's kills are from tests. Damn! Damn. Damn. You're gonna, you're gonna take <laughs> that. You're gonna take that. <laughs> that gun's real. I need guns. I need a screenshot because because obviously I don't have them. I've not leveled up my Burton Toha. I need a screenshot of like Burton Toha together, just their faces, please, like on a Legion thing. What? What are you talking about? A picture, man. Yo, yo, great. Can you do it? Have you leveled up your burn toe hole? Um, if I'm, I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I like at level man, 40 coming. each. I can put I one on the deputy because I have, I have, have, have five. five. <clears throat> no. My two, what you, what my you want, though? My two mods are in the Discord right now. <clears throat> I, want, I, want, I want that book for Chat ban incoming. Oh, wait. Guns has no mods. Dang. Damn, you guys got called out. Sheesh. I gotta use the restroom real quick, guys. I'll be right back. Oh, you want it like that, Saint? I can yeah. only do Tohar Bird. I can't do it the other way around because I still have um, Tohar at two. Or not Tohar Bird Train at two. Hang on. I'm timing out stuff again. Oh, wait. What the fuck? That got 600. <laughs> Six... <laughs> <laughs> bro, why you put him at 600 seconds, bro? What? Bro, I just clicked timeout. That's all I did. Bro, you gotta hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> Remove timeout for Savagon, okay. I already have, I already have, I already have. Dang! Crazy. Is it test? <laughs> you good, bro? You good, Savagon. For now. He already has one timeout. I can't even remove that, bro. It's just there. <laughs> that shit's on his record. He just timed out for like two... Like, two seconds. Dude, it could be faulted. Testing it one, two. Five minutes. I was like, hey, that's a long ass time, actually. You can you can always customize the time now. <clears throat> Think. Oops. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can, you can. I didn't mean to press that one. <laughs> but no, you, you can only def you can default them for five minutes. You can't do anything else, which is kind of goofy. That we're gonna. He just has random. <laughs> Random timeouts on his record for no reason. Why is his message deleted? Oh, he tried to delete it, but I can still see what you said. Wait, who tried to delete it? I didn't do anything. Here we go. The final. It says message the deleted because I think he was because I think it was because he was muted. Uh, it shouldn't have final been. test. Final test. Wait, what? <laughs> Sorry, Sam. <laughs> so what test is this now? This is the same yeah, one, yo, this is just confirmation. Okay. What? Yo, what? Oh, uh, no, no, you can't, can't, no, you can't, can you? Guns, check Discord when you can, please, in the DMs. You want, you want, um, Bertrand primary? Yeah, well, that's, that's Bertrand, isn't it? Bertrand is the primary. I just need a Bertrand Toha pick for me. Oh, I have, I can mm. only do I can, Toha I can do Tar right Bertrand, now. I can't do it the other way around. Oh, shit, what? I mean, just ask Toxic, Damn, bro. Hey, just look ping at this, him look at this, look, look how chat. fast it's in yellow this round. Holy shit, oh, wait. bro. Wait, no, I think I can make the meme even... Nah. So. I must... Someone must have fucked something up, bro. Nah, bro, Why this is it? intentional, trust me. Why is it such a big-ass difference right now? That six-star, bro. These are just better. Trust me. Bro, you even trust you? I've been seen. What? <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, y'all gonna go, y'all gonna easily smash AC. They were struggling with us last season, and our alliance was so weak. Oh, Can't even bro, take Dragon last season. Don't say that, man. Don't tell me I have to fight guns for merits. Like this guy's just gonna be fucking swarming merits. Oh, bro, I'm gonna be launching troops, bro. <laughs> bro, we're gonna be sending cav rallies nuts deep, bro. Trust me.
I'm just gonna RSS what? heal my archers, bro. That's it. And just let, let them get swarmed. Let my house Kanara and uh uh fucking uh. So okay, guys. So I am thinking. Hear me out. Hear me out. I am thinking about pushing the strongest lord just just a tiny bit, just a tiny bit. All right. I don't know. Cause okay, if you look at the strongest lord, right? Our biggest spender is um toxic, right? Toxic. Yeah. And for this strongest lord, it's only Tohar. It's not a, you can't select other heroes, right? So he's not gonna go for it. So it's like there's a good yeah. chance that I push my tanks because I want to train a little bit more tanks and get enough heads to be able to awaken my my uh, Tohar. <clears throat> it's a good chance. There's a good chance. Okay, I gotta look at this report, bro. I feel like it was scuffed. Nah, bro. Look at the diff. There it is, chat. There it is. There it is. <clears throat> Look at the difference, bro. What was the main difference? I think I think this specific build, our talent tree is better, but the main difference is the six stars, guys. It like. Six star your heroes! If you can. <laughs> I know it's pretty fucking difficult to six star your heroes. That's like my main key point in my talking things. Basically, if like if you're mid to like mid spender and under, bro, you, you have to focus like on one troop type that you're trying to six star. You can't be like, oh, I'm gonna six star everybody. Oh, I'm gonna five not, star not this happening. one. I'm gonna five star this one. If you're okay, you wait, my guy. Listen to me. Listen to me, guys. If you're okay with being mediocre. Go ahead and spread load your shit. Okay, if you want to be great, make sure you use them wisely and give the heroes that you need the six star stars. All right. Awesome. Moving on. That's it. Hey, so hard, great again. Let what? me let me message. Uh, yo, the devs heard everyone complaining and they they did a they did a secret patch overnight. Imagine. <laughs> bro, they did, bro, they said they weren't they buffing it out. They ditched it. It just took a long time for players to like get them up there. No, I think I think I think there's still things that they could do, but they just need Tohar not to nerf Bertrand with the uh, delaying of a rage skill. You know what I mean? If they have Tohar be like an infernal flame where he can shoot the infernal flame and a rage skill at the same time, then you know it's all right. It's perfect actually because you would just it'll actually go even more stupider. Be like, blah, 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 blah. More stupid. Right? I like that. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> English 101. Yo, guns. True. Hi. Yo, yo both of you. Chat, Hi. Chat the Discord thing? Chat the Discord chat? God. The, the group chat? This guy loves you whispering, did. huh? Whispering? This is said, this is said both of you, like, what the hell? Bro, what what is with the the little mage icon on the? Uh, it's just magic. I couldn't I couldn't get like a proper magic thing, bro. Wait, what are you? What are you trying to do? Are you trying to set it's up? He's trying to make a one? meme, bro. But it's like goofy. Damn, he it's said. It's supposed to be goofy, bro. He said, "Stay in your fucking bro, it's lane." Bro, low effort, bro. This is why I got shadow banned on TikTok for the unoriginal. Oh, I mean, memes. I won't put this out there. I can't. I can't be. Uh, I can't be letting people. I can't, we can't be giving people intel, and that's why it goes in the DMs. Bro, this is live streamed. What do you mean we can't be giving people <laughs> intel? <laughs> Everyone <laughs> just saw. People here just saw that Tohar, or not Tohar, Boat, uh, Burst Rain Tohar just obliterated a Hans Kanara on counterattack alone. <laughs> Alright, let's get a little victory song. Let's get a little victory song going for the Mage Mains, bro. Let's get a Hello. little victory we, song. We eating good here we today. Go, here we go, Mage Mains. Like tonight. This is for the Mage Mains. Sing it with. No, I'm not gonna sing it. I, I mean, I'm gonna have to charge you guys if I sing, so I'm not gonna sing. Hey, no, yo, chat. 